Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Let's Play FB Games with something completely different. Because it's New Year, because we're heading to 2017, I thought let's do a special live stream. I was originally going to do 24 hours, but I am already tired and I didn't sleep a fucking bit last night because I was excited for doing the stream. So, I haven't slept at all. So, I was going to do 24 hours, which would be starting at 12 today, finishing at 12 tomorrow. But instead, I'm just going to do it tonight. So then by midnight, it's all done. Everyone can celebrate New Year's with their families and shit. Or do whatever you want. And then the stream will be up on YouTube, on Twitch, whatever you guys want to watch. But here we go. Oh yes, soldier. Here it is. Welcome to the stream. So what we're going to be starting off with is we're going to be starting off with a bit of FIFA 17 career mode. I haven't touched it yet. I thought what better way to start off career mode than have it in a 12 hour special live stream. I haven't actually... I haven't actually touched FIFA 17 much. I had a little, I've tried a little bit of career with Southampton, as you can see on the screen. But to be honest, I haven't really touched FIFA 17 that much since I got it for Christmas. So, a few, I'd say about a week ago, no joke, uh, no songs, please. I think it was on Christmas Eve. I set up the poll. I had a poll for which FIFA 17 career mode team should I choose. So it was very, very close. There was, uh, there wasn't really many votes to be honest. I didn't really expect too many. But on the votes, Norwich had zero, Hull had one, Burnley had one. I think that was it. Let me just find this. Let me just find a straw poll. Actually, bear with me, guys. I'll give you the official standings. But yeah, it was a very close, very close, um, close run thing because there weren't actually too many, too many votes. Let me just see. Also, guys, if there's any lag throughout the whole stream, I just, I can't control that. So, I know it'll probably be, it most likely will be on my end, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, if there is any lag, I apologize fully right now. I'll probably be apologizing quite a bit throughout the stream, because there'll probably be lag throughout the stream. But, um, you know, that's just how it is. Based on your FIFA 16 career progress, you are entitled to the following perks. Some of the items are optional. Please check any items you want to apply. To the career you are about to start. Fuck it, we'll just have both. Whatever. So here was the straw poll results. Norwich was on zero. Hull was on one. Burnley was on one. Aston Villa, Newcastle and Sunderland were all on two at the top. So, because it was a three-way tie, I, ba I basically I just asked my parents what team should I pick out of Sunderland, Newcastle and Aston Villa. They went Newcastle. So, Newcastle is the team that we are going to be controlling throughout this career mode. I think I'm going to do three seasons, maybe do a little bit more if it goes down well. If it goes down like a lead balloon and it goes horrible, then maybe not. But um, here we go. The board expectations. Domestic success is critical, which means we need to get good cup success and league success. Continental success is low because we're not in any European tournaments or anything. Brand exposure is high. I'm not sure what that actually is. That, that basically is just selling t-shirts and stuff like that, I think. Financial is... Keeping our money well, spending it well, doing well with our money. And that's a medium. And youth development is also medium. So I'm going to have to dip into the youth squad bit of career mode quite a little bit. So Newcastle United established 1892. Newcastle West End and Newcastle East End merged together and were later renamed from Newcastle East End to Newcastle United. They have been crowned champions four times and have won a domestic cup on six occasions. Newcastle United took part in the first ever football league match to be played under floodlights when they faced Portsmouth in 1956. So let's take, let's go into Newcastle here. Do I not get to see the, do I get to see the, I don't get to see the squad. Wait, do I, really, I don't really get to see the squad. The fuck, you could see the squad in last year's game, what the hell. Alright, let's pick the manager. Obviously, our name is going to be Let's Play FB Games. That is going without saying. Um, but what I'm going to do for this career mode is I'm going to do a month of it. Like, you guys know how I did the uh, Mansfield Auto Glory before I stopped it because I just didn't feel like playing FIFA 16 anymore. Now that FIFA 17 had been out a while, nobody was really going to watch, so I just basically didn't continue. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a month or maybe two. No, I will just do, I'll stick to a month uh, of FIFA 17 career mode. Then later on, I'm probably going to go on to GTA with Soldier, maybe some other friends. But um, for now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing career mode 
just to kick off. Maybe I'll do a little bit of... I don't know. I don't know what else yet. If you guys have any ideas of any games you want to see, then uh, I'm done for listening. Is there more avatars than this? Oh, there is. Let's go with this guy, actually. He looks a bit like Sir... No, it doesn't, actually. I was about to say he looks a bit like Sir Alex Ferguson. It doesn't at all. Let's just take this guy, and we'll have him in a tracksuit. We're going to be a casual manager. We're not going to be like a manager who fucking worries about everything. So, match difficulty, professional. I was going to set it to world class, but professional in this game is a lot more difficult, in my opinion, than it was on FIFA 16. Because I'm, I'm actually struggling on professional on this game. I'll keep it on professional. Half length can stay at 6 minutes. Currency is sterling, which is just pounds in Britain. Play some Rocket League or WWE as well. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I may do that. Yeah, I probably will do that at some point as well. So, we're not going to have a European competition because we're in the championship. There's no point. We're going to earn that competition. We're going to earn that European competition spot. And we're going to keep the transfer window on because I want to make some transfers. And we're downloading the latest updates. The latest squads have been downloaded. Let's get a beautiful or lovely. And it came out as bluffly nearly. I think I'm, if, if uh, Andrew and Fred, uh, well, you guys won't know Andrew, stream viewers, well, Soldier does, but if Andrew and Fred and Dylan and Craig and all that aren't on yet after I've done the month of career mode, what I will do is I will do some Rocket League or WWE, I'll probably do Rocket League, actually, because I really want to get more done in that game, and then maybe we'll play GTA after that, or if they are on, I'll do some GTA and then play Rocket League after that. By the way, this stream is going to be a, a 12 hour stream. I will have to cut it a few times because every time I change games, the stream just shuts itself down. So I'll have to restart it every time I switch games. So I'm hoping not to switch games too many times because, like I said, if I do, it resets the stream. It'll be uploaded in a few different parts on YouTube as well. If there's any way I could put it all together, I would. But YouTube editor only allows four hours at a time. So I can't do that. I could do it until, if it's. 12 hours, I could probably put it into three parts, but that would require effort, and I don't know if I've got that in me. So, we are going to be calling this the Newcastle, I'm just going to call it Newcastle United. Actually, we'll just call it Newcastle, we'll call it Newcastle Twitch, because then I know that I, this is for, uh, this is for streaming purposes, and not for me just playing off screen like my Southampton one is. So we're calling Newcastle Twitch, that seems like a good enough name. And uh, let's head into it. So of course, as usual, we're going to go into the preseason tournament. And basically, this episode, the career mode, which is within the 12-hour live stream, will just be me playing preseason uh, friendlies, basically. So what we're going to be doing is, of course, as usual, we'll go for the one with the most money because... There's an obvious reason why we're going for the one with the most money, because you can get the most money. But uh, if you guys, like I said, if you have any transfer ideas or people you want me to sign, I'll take a look at them. I won't necessarily 100% sign them, but if they're good, if they're young, if they've got potential, if they're maybe even if they're a big player like, I don't know, Rashford or something, I may take a look at that. Maybe if it's a young player as well, just if you guys have any ideas on who to sign then you are more than welcome to um, suggest anyone you want, as long as it's sensible. So, over the next few minutes, I'm going to read out these emails. You guys might not want to listen to this, but I'm going to do it anyway. LFB Games. We recognise that you, the coaching staff, and the players are just coming off a very draining and demanding session. So we, season. So we appreciate that you have accepted the invitation to participate in the European International Cup. This year, the competition will take place in Germany. It's a great opportunity for you to evaluate the current squad and experiment with the lineup and tactics before the beginning of the season. It is also a key opportunity for the club to expand our brand. During the group stage of the competition, you'll be facing the following teams. I'm trying to scroll down the email. Udinese, Frankfurt and Bologna. Or Bologna, I don't know how you pronounce that. Bologna, we'll go with Bologna because that's easier way to pronounce it. As you progress in the tournament, you will be rewarded with more money towards your transfer budget. You're sincerely Newcastle United Board of Directors. All right, so you go scout for me. Thank you for that. <laughs> As you already know, merchandising is an important source of income for the club. Shirt sales account for a large percent, percentage of this income. 
In our most recent board meeting, we've set a goal to earn 12.75 million in sales from player shirts. While this shouldn't be your deciding factor when buying players during the transfer window, keep in mind that bringing in popular high-profile players along with a good performance from our key players will go a long way in helping us achieve this goal. Sincerely, the board of directors. So, let's take a look at the objectives. Of course, once again, they're right here. We've, done, we've gone through them already. I don't know why I looked at them. The transfer market is now open. Remember that players' value will vary based on their form, time remaining on their contract, how important they are to their club, and a variety of other factors that will ultimately determine the amount each player is likely to be sold for. I'll add comments on any transfer negotiations when I see fit in order to give you a better idea of what each player might be sold or bought for. Ultimately, however, it's up to you. Our vision and expectations. Jesus Christ, they sent me a lot of emails to begin with. We are delighted to have you on board and are looking forward to seeing you succeed at our football club. For Newcastle United, success is not just about results on the pitch. We have a brand to protect, a business to grow and support us to please. Given Newcastle and United's identity and our long-term plans, these are the main areas we want you to focus on. Domestic success, how well the team does in the league and domestic cup. Brand exposure, expanding the brand and popularity of our club. Financial, the financial success of the club. Youth development, how well we develop our youth academy, bringing young talent and profit from sales of homegrown players. We will provide you with specific objectives for each of the categories above so that it is clear what the expectations are. You play a pivotal role in helping the club be successful in all these areas, hence your future at the club will largely depend on how well we execute against these goals. Best of luck this season, the board of directors. All right, so we've got our scout report. I'm not going to read the scout reports out because everyone knows about that. An update on the health of John Joe Shelby. The broken ankle that he has suffered at the end of last season is repairing nicely. There's a chance he might be ready for the first competitive match of the season, but he probably won't be 100% match fit by then, so tread carefully with regard to bringing him back too soon. Okay, so we've got through the emails. Before we go any further, let's take a look at the squad we do have. I'm not fully aware of the Newcastle squad. So in goal, we've got Darlow. I don't know who Darlow is. Let's just... Why are we looking on here on the team sheet? Let's look through the... We'll look through the transfer list. I'm not going to transfer list anyone right now. I'm just going to take a look. So in the club, well, these are guys loaned out. We've got Tim Crew loaned out. Is that Henry Savet? I've heard of him. Savet's loaned out. De Jong is loaned out. Riviera is loaned out. Why are we looking at all the loaned out players? I'm an idiot. Well, let's look at the players we have in the club. We've got Darlow, Anita, Lasell, Clark, Dummett, Hayden, Shelby, Ritchie, Gufran, Diame, Gale, Perez, Yedlin, and Bemba, Lazar, Mitrovic, Thels, Hanley. Callback, Murphy, Teote, Gamez, Gibson, Barlasser, Woodman, Aarons, Good, Hydara, Elliot, and that is all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through now and see who I want to sell, who I want to loan out. So we've got Atsu, we got Atsu as well. He's in for a year. And from what I remember, he's pretty pacey. He is indeed. 94 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. That averages out to about 91, 92. If you get an accurate, it's 91.5, but you know what I mean. So, Carl Darlow is 69 red, 25 years of age. Who's the other goalkeeper? The other goalkeeper was Sells. He is 24 years of age, 76 overall. He's going to be our main goalkeeper, probably. But um, what I'm going to do, not worry about our main team right now. Darlow can stay as a second goalkeeper, I suppose. Anita will be a pretty strong centre defensive midfielder. Lasalle could probably grow a little bit more. Clark and could probably yeah, Clark is a strong defender. We're gonna need is that Kieran Clark who used to play for Aston Villa? Is indeed. And uh Dummett. Is it Paul Dummett? I don't remember all the names. Yeah, I've seen a career model in Newcastle before on YouTube, so I know quite a lot of the names. Uh Hayden Isaac Hayden, actually, recently joined the club. Shelby, Matt Ritchie from Bournemouth. Gufran, he's a French player. Johan Gufran could be... What's his pace? I swear he's pretty fast, right? Yeah, I don't know. I might... 
Yeah, I'm going to put Johan Goodfriend on the transfer list. Sorry if you guys like him. Dwight Gale, I he used to play for Crystal Palace. I've seen him in action. He's a pretty good player. Iose Perez still has time to grow. Yedlin, he's a former Spurs right back. I remember that because he was in my Spurs career mode. And Bemba's a strong defender. 76 overall, 21 years of age. He has plenty of room to grow. Dimitrovic, Lazar, the left back spot will probably be back. Actually, no, he'll be the main left back. Dammit will probably provide backup. Sells is going to be the goalkeeper. Hanley is a strong centre back too. Callback is a strong CDM. Murphy can. I'm sorry, Murphy, but you're. Can't even. Can't even sell him because he's. Why did Newcastle sign 33 year olds? What's the point in signing 33 year olds? It won't provide anything to the club. Uh, Cheek Teote can stay. Gamers can stay. I, I don't think there's really anyone I want to sell apart from. Uh, from Gufran. We're going to put Barlasa out on loan as well. We're going to put Woodman out on loan. We've got Good here. He's going to get put on the transfer list. Hydara. I think we're going to put him on the transfer list as well. Uh, Gibson can go on loan. Gibson's already get ready to be loaned. Elliot can get on the transfer list. He's surplus to requirement. Do you have plans for me? If it's plans for the 12-hour stream soldier, then I already know what I'm going to go for. If it's plans for my career mode, then you're more than welcome. If you have got an idea for the stream as well, uh, and it's better than my idea, then... Sure. But, I mean, I don't know. So what we've got currently is the 4-2-3-1. Now, I feel like that is not what I want. I want... I'm going to go for the bog standard 4-4-2. Because that gives some wide players some chances on the wings. It gives Rolando Aarons some space on the left. Sorry, Johan, but you're going to be dropping to the bench. Play 4-2-3-1. Sell Teote. Loan out Aarons and Hadara. Buy Nokar and loan Hakimi. I was looking to play Aarons, though. That's kind of Aarons was one of the guys I was looking forward to playing the season with to be honest there's some good ideas there Celtiote Celtiote he has a pretty strong defensive midfielder though I'm not trying to compare him with Gufran give me a second All right. take a look at Teote 92 aggression not really his, his stamina is impressive strength is impressive what are his tackling stats like his tackling is brilliant I don't know. Let's look at Knockhart. Knockhart is a Leicester player last time I checked. He may have moved from there since. Aaron's isn't ready and Teote is shit on God, and Aaron's is probably a good championship in real life. He is 20 though, so you do have a little bit of a point. But he's 76 already and he could grow massively if I play I don't know. I'm kind of thinking out loud. Why are you lagging when I'm not even using the internet on my phone? Stupid fucking Twitch. Um, I was thinking maybe we could go for Divock Origi. Origi could be a good little sign-in. He is young and he could grow pretty well. Let's inquire anyway. So you said Knockart. Hakimi. Let's do that real quick. If it's going to start lagging like fucking problem, then I'm just not going to bother streaming. Oi, his stats. For a league... For, no, Brighton Championship. For a championship player, he's pretty good. Let's scout and inquire about Knockart and... Um, what else are we doing? Hakimi is the other man. Hakimi is 16, and if you like him, he's 17, but sure. If you like him, then buy him at the end of the year. His sprint speed isn't great for a right back, I'm not going to lie. What's his crossing like? His crossing isn't too great either. I don't... Mm. I've already got a right back as well, I believe. Who could probably do the job better than Hakimi. 
Anita. Anita's a CDM, right? Oh, we haven't... Have we not got... We have got right. We've got DeAndre Yedlin, and we've got... We've got Jesus Gámez. We are fine for right backs. Plus Akimi. I don't really like the look of his stats. I'll take suggestions, but I won't necessarily buy them all. He has... What's his potential? I'm just sorting out the team a little bit here. I'm going to... Put our start, get our starting lineup ready for um, our first piece of season friendly. What's his potential? Um, consider it. Who's our Lazar needs to get that right back, that left back spot. His rating is pretty good. Why is Diame playing up front? Get your ass off the pitch. Mitrovic, you can come in. Perez, you can be our super sub off the bench. Atsu, get in there right now. Uh, Gufran, get out of my team. Aaron's come in. You think 80? 80. 80's... That's a lot of growth, but 80 is not incredible. I mean, Gamers won't actually... Actually, Gamers won't grow any higher. He's a 78 and he's 31. DeAndre Yedlin is 22, 72. Is he a potential player? I'm trying to think here. What would give me the best options and the best potential? Yedlin is a promising player. I don't think he grows by too much. <sighs> Odds on me just signing Kyle Walker and ending all this shit. <laughs> um, no, but... um, Soldier, you're not really helpful for buying players, are you? If you're just going to suggest two guys and then BRB. Uh, I don't really need... Well, I do kind of need help from this, but... I have... What's his wage? That eats up quite a bit of my... Do you know what? Let's... Scott, let's get... Let's risk it. I don't want a future fee. That's... I don't want a future fee. Give me a second. Alright, so... I'm not going to risk... I'm going to risk it, is what I'm trying to say. I will risk it. But... If he bombs, he does really bad. Then... Soldier is to blame. But if he does really good... I'm not going to give him all the game time. Because we've got Gamez and we've got Yedlin as backup. But, um, cup games, I, f I will give, if I can get him, I will give him a bit of game time. About your other suggestion, by Knockart, I've inquired about Knockart. Celtiote is something I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with doing. I mean, I've got Callback and I've got Shelvy. What's Callback's age? 26. Well, like, uh, Teote's going to have to probably play at least until Shelby's return from injury anyway. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's put Teote... Let's try and... Put, let's put Teote on the transfer list. I'm not... This is not me saying definitely going to sell him, but I will put him on the transfer list. To see what he brings in. His contract is expiring in a year, so it's probably best to do it now. Got six players transfer listed: Hydara, Elliot, Good, Woodman, Tiote, and Gufran, which will bring a little bit of extra income. So, without any further ado, let's simulate forward maybe a day or two. I'm sort of looking forward to the day. My Divok Origi inquiry. Consider a bid in the region of twenty-one million. Now you see Jurgen, Jurgen. A, he's not worth that. B, I can't pay that. So what we're going to do... Bit cheeky. Probably not going to work. In fact, definitely not going to work. But we're going to go in with a little cheeky bed of 10 mil. Thank you for your inquiry of Anti Knockart. He has recently joined us at Brighton. So we're not interested in discussing his availability at this time. So we can't get Knockart yet. He's recently... Uh, he's recently joined us... Uh, Real Madrid, so we are not inquire, interested in discussing them. I've fucking put a loan offer in. How? What? 
don't know. Hey boss, I was hoping you might be experimenting with the squad and would give me a chance to play. I am experimenting with the squad, but I want to try out my first team to begin with. So, let me make sure everyone is as they should be. Anyone on the bench, anyone on the reserves that I shouldn't be leaving out. Uh, I think we're good. Let's bring Hayden off and bring a striker on. I like... I sound, it seems kind of weird, but I like having my bench to have one goalkeeper, two defenders, two midfield players, and two forward players. And that's weird. I fucking don't judge me, but <laughs> you know. So the captain is gonna be Teote. The free kicks can stay as Gale. I can change the all that can stay. I can change that if I need to within the game. I just want the captain to be um to be Teote. I feel like Teote is captain material. Welcome back, soldier. My eyes starting to hurt a little bit. Holy shit. Right, um... So what we're going to do is we're going to our first game against Frankfurt, who I believe are actually not the strongest of German teams, but pretty decent. The other two teams are Italian. Udinese used to be good when they had Di Natale and all that, but I don't know what they... I don't know how they are now. I don't really... Maxim... I bet you just went to fucking go on, like, Foothead or something and just look at players. But Maxim is pretty good from what I've heard. I've heard I've heard things about him. I've heard things about that man. But there is a lot of Maxims. You've not... There is Maxim... Is it Chupomoting? Don't just give me random names. Have you actually fucking researched these, soldier? You're meant to be my scout, remember? I'm fucking... You don't use... Foothead. Okay. Maxime Lestien. Okay. Let's scout him. I'm just going to look at all the players. So guys, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm looking at all the players soldiers putting in the chat. Adam Unas. We'll keep... We'll inquire and scout, but I'm not going to buy anyone necessarily just yet. I feel like Aaron's is the guy I want to use at left mid. So any more suggestions, soldier, I'll do after this game, because I want to get some gameplay going. We've been going now for about 20... Nearly half an hour, actually. Holy shit. We still haven't got any gameplay in. So let's get going. So this is going to be uh, probably my first team for the main season, or at least it will be until... Actually, I might get a better, goal a better goalkeeper. Cells could probably do the job for now, but I want one who I could, who's solid, who I can rely on. So the fucking first team lineup is going to be right here, the team that I'm going to mainly use, like I said. And um, Cells will be in goal. Lazar and Gamez will be the left and right backs. Clarkin and Bemba will be the centre backs. Teote and Callback will be the centre defensive mids, just playing in front of them. Out wide on the left will be Aaron's. Out right, out wide on the right will be Atsu, who we loaned in. And Dwight Gale and Mitrovic will be up front. My champ for the season will be Teote GTFO. What the fuck is? What do you have against Teote? Let's let me check something. Okay, callback is left footed, Teote is right footed, it'd probably do good to swap them over. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our squad for the first game. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Because you guys have heard me talk, and you've seen me looking, seen me looking at menus, and you've been watching me look at menus for the past half hour now. Let's get some gameplay. I can't fucking play FIFA 17 for shit, so don't expect any, any good results. I can't take penalties either, I haven't learned yet. Look at that, look at that mess, look at that mess. I'm pulling the left stick down. I <laughs> I'm pulling the left stick down. Alright, that was okay. I was pulling the left stick down so as not to put my penalty too high up. But apparently Welcome that's not an option. I mean, here we go, Velton's Arena. Newcastle United versus Frankfurt. We're not in St. James' Park because I believe we're in the country abroad. I'm not sure which country. 
I'm not sure which country we're at. Kyoto's not even shit. Maybe he's shit on FIFA, but he's a decent, solid player in real life. Anyway, we're kicking off against Frankfurt here. It's just Gamez, Mbemba, Newcastle just passing it slowly around, keeping it around the back, building Let's some early play Eintracht here. Cech Kyote spots Atsu here, the, the young, pacey right midfielder. Back into Atsu. Yeah, I mean, Low cross. It oh, it's a header in, but it's going to go over. Mitrovic met it, but over the crossbar by pretty lot. poor connection, to be honest. I mean could have been better in real life he's not well to be fair I haven't watched Newcastle in a while not even that bad stop stop murdering all my players with your insults a goal kick to Rebic on the Frankfurt team it's intercepted and now it's come to Rolando Ahrens who has played a nice ball through to Teote there Teote trying to find Mitrovic up front but it's not happened and now it's been brought away so far in call back now into Teote. The team's actually working quite hard. Oh man, they? it's Sometimes a good tackle sort of and it's been brought away. Barcock, what a weird name. He's got enough of Frankfurt in an attacking position. And Bemba's trying to cut across. There's no left back there, it's a good dive Goldberg. out from Sells. To that in time because he didn't run to it. And now Mascarell has got a good chance for Frankfurt. Bottom right as well. The only person is Why have you got something against. Why do you have a grudge against Teote? Is, is it because he's more black than you, soldier? Is that what it is? Approaching the 10th minute mark, and it's a corner for Frankfurt. I don't know why their initials are SGE when they don't have any of those fucking letters in Frankfurt, but well, I mean. Position, sure, and it's actually Easily cleared away to... here. Teote. To call back, Mitrovic hasn't got the pace, so we need to get someone pacier on it, like Atsu. Now this is what I need. Atsu, Atsu's pace. It's come back to Mitrovic here. Newcastle getting a little bit lucky with the possession here. Atsu has run in nicely. It could be our first goal. Oh, Atsu's hit it off the post. Oh, that was our first clear-cut chance. It wasn't Mitrovic's header, I guess. <laughs> Just because he wants to leave Newcastle in real life doesn't mean he gets to my fucking game. I want a strong player like Teo in midfield. He's 86 strength. His tackle, Newcastle his tackling rating to 80. His aggression is 90, which could prove to actually be bad at points. But he is a strong, set defensive midfielder, whether you like him or not. Atsu is going to be a, my my little fucking dynamo down the wing, apart from on that occasion. If I get a draw in the first game, I will take it. But I would love a win to kick off this Newcastle United career mode. And Bamba getting the ball, Clark. Playing it out to callback nicely. Mitrovic can't Strong get challenge. through. He's not got the pace. We need. I need a pacey Here striker. I feel. That's why I'm trying to look at Divock Origi to bring in. Origi can be the pace season. guy uh, crossing into Mitrovic, who scores the headers, the kind of and it's a beautiful combination. That's what I'm thinking here, but I mean, it could not. It might not happen like that. Jose Perez is a pretty pacey striker. To be fair to him. But, um, well, yeah, regardless, at the moment, here, I'm the playing Dwight lost Gale because I think well. Dwight Gale's actually faster. Andrew's come online and he's Looking invited me to a party. That's a cross, a cross and goal, and it's the, fucking horrible. Well, we can see it again one more time, that earlier incident from Atsu. Well, Atsu, all it in earlier on. I'm going to restart my phone because my phone's uh, even weird. But anyway, it's a goal. Sells clearing it out. Oh, could the stream be lagging? Phone off. Like, that's lagging. Teote. Call back. Back into Teote. Try to spot through there, but a poor pass. Mitrovic has got the ball though, and he has actually run in pretty well. He's played a cross goal. Why didn't Rolando Aaron continue running for that? If he continued running to that, that would have been 1 0. I've forgotten fucking what they call Newcastle. I want to say Magpies, but I feel like I'm way off. 
one side to the other. Atsu coming back and doing his, some defensive work as well as being the attacker of the team. And Bemba well clearing it away. It's going to come to Barcock. What a weird cross. name. There's a Not cross a in cross it to header away. I believe that was in Bemba again. Mitrovic gets tackled. Well, good progress with this attack. Frankfurt raining. Raining shot down on our goal and sells with another good save. It's been a pretty a even corner. game so far, I've got to say. Something is up with my phone, I'm not sure what it is. That's a good save from Sells. That's the second bottom corner save he's made in this first half. That's Dendera crossing it in. It's a good head from Rebic. It's off the line. I'm not sure that's by. I believe that is by Rolando Aaron. Just a few seconds after Soldier called him shit in the chat. Mitrovic trying to create some space. Dwight Gale cutting in. Oh, it's a very good defensive tackle there. This is how this team can play. Sustained very, very good. Attacking football, but when they lose it, as me, guys. Now, right, just risk that they might get caught out. It's a good tackle. Andrew wants me to invite to a party, but I kind of want to just do this FIFA bit by myself. I'll fight when I join GTA. Mitrovic. Oh, it's a fucking. Theote's in the way. I'm starting to see Soldier's point of view right now. But it's a good interception from Atsu. That is brilliant from Atsu. He's move. found White Gale. Has got some space. Oh, it just hit straight up a defender. I tried to cut in, but Defenders the defender knew well exactly where I was that. going and he managed to block it. It has come back to Gale. Able by the Frankfurt goalkeeper. However, he has saved it and it is cleared away. If it starts lagging really bad, I'm just going to give up. I'm really not in the mood. Right, I haven't slept at all. That's why I did 12 hours instead of 24 hours to begin with. Dwight Gale. Oh, it's in the middle. Oh, Mitrovic has got a bit lucky there. Oh, it's 1 0 to Newcastle. Bit of a lucky break there. It was a good pass from Dwight Gale. However, the defenders did get there. Mitrovic put in the tackle. And the first goal of the Newcastle career mode goes to Alexander, I believe it's Alexander, I don't fucking know his name, but it goes to Mitrovic anyway, see this again, it's a beautiful pass through, the defender yeah, got it before Mitrovic could, he came in with the tackle, didn't give up on it, and that's a beautiful well, finish, 1-0 to Newcastle, exactly how we wanted to start the series off, a goal to begin with, in the first half of the first game, Alexander Mitrovic. Beautiful finish. He's usually known for his heading as well, so to say he's scored a goal with his, so the first goal his feet, I believe his right foot as well, so that's his weak foot as well. Mitrovic has got a pretty good goal there, and it is 1 0 right now to Newcastle United on the stroke of half time as well. Have you seen that? Three minutes of added time at the end of the first half. I didn't realise it was that close to half time. I thought it was still like, I thought it was around 40 minutes or something. I didn't think it was like 45 already. Mascarell trying to pass it around. Frankfurt trying to get one more attack before half time, but unfortunately to no avail. It's a very good half full of action, but Newcastle has edged the lead. It is 1 0. Heading into the break. What the fuck is up with my phone? Okay, we're good. Newcastle 1, Frankfurt 0 at half time. I'm just trying to sort out issues on my phone at the same time as doing this, guys. Bear with me. It's a tricky process. Uh, see, the thing is, I'm in a group chat on fucking Facebook with people. And they never check the group chat. Because I tell them what I'm going to be doing for a stream. And they never check the group chat. If they check the group chat, then maybe they'd know not to invite me yet. Until I went to GC. But I'm not going to get mad because people did say they want to be a part of it and I will let them be. I just want to speak for a bit by myself like I said. So 1-0 at half time. Mitrovic with the goal. Let's head into the second half here. Frankfurt substitution here. Marco Fabian coming on from Mark Stendera. Stendera was the one taking the corners I believe in the first half and his corners weren't really too good so that's probably why they've taken them off. 
Either that or it's just a stamina issue. Oh, they just want to rotate all the players. And before I continue, well, I should have continued. I'm actually continuing anyway. I can substitute more than three players off in a pre-season tournament. So if I want to do, if I want to sub the whole team off and bring another whole team on, I could. The fact is, I only get seven substitutes. I was trying to explain stuff, and they're fucking taking advantage. What pricks? Try to explain things. And Marco Fabian as well, of course it fucking is. Comes on, does the damage three minutes into the second half. Are you actually kidding me? You have got to be having a complete and utter fucking giggle. I'm not going to lie, it was a nice attack. I wasn't fully concentrating on the attack. I was, fully, I was concentrating on explaining that I can do one of three substitutes in a pre-season tournament match. But apparently Fabian wasn't having any of it. And it is one all here. Frankfurt have equalised. And that's not what the Magpies so wanted. We go at one all. I believe it's the Mag. Can someone fucking Fabian. correct me on that? <laughs> Holy shit, it's lefty. Kieran Clark passing it to Lazar. Cross to Alexander Mitrovic. Jesus Gamis. Jesus Gamis now in possession. Callback. Not got many options here. Can't go forward. There's nobody in Trying good to space. In got to play it around the field. Piotr. Mitrovic. Well, Back into Piotr. He's gone from range. It's blocked. Shot's blocked very quickly. Callback. Trying to keep possession here. Strong challenge. Oh my days. You tell yourself, Lefty. Oh, fucking pass. Here. Beautiful now. Fabian's coming forward again. Attack. Fabian's a danger man one now, in my quickly. opinion, because he's already scored one. Who knows how many more he's going to score. He'll come on at half time as well. Dwight Gale. On the one oh, no. My nice defense. I'm on your lawn, Cammy. It's hard to get off my lawn. It's raining outside. Oh, wait, it's not actually. It's just windy. Oh, no. Oh, you fucking prick. Thank God for that guy hatched it properly. Because if he had 2-1 to Frankfurt. Left his name is Ronda Rousey. As David Abraham comes on for Timmy Chandler. Two names that aren't really American. You're going to kick my ass. I lost in 48 seconds. Oh, no. Oh, you mean Rousey. Never mind. I'm Holly Holm. Fuck it. Good and Bemba. Good tackle. Actually, it's an impressive tackle on that part of the pitch. Oh, my God. Thank God my goalkeeper is alive. Because if he wasn't here, I'd be about 3-1 or 4-1 down right now. Forest corner's taken now. I'm going to make a couple of substitutions. I feel like certain man in the field is getting tired. Well, a few men in the field are getting tired. Actually, Atsu is looking pretty... Pretty puffed out as well. So we'll bring on Richie and we'll bring on Diame for callback. And we've got a limited substitution. So we'll actually bring on Iosi Perez as well for Mitrovic. Bring a triple sub. Freshen up the game for Newcastle. Gives me a chance to test out more of the players too. Lefty, why do you want to fight me? Why do you want to get into a fight that you'll most obviously lose? And it's a corner. That's a good opportunity now. We've Frankfurt to get the lead in this here. match. Still 30 minutes left. Diame gets it clear. Fabian, Fabian has got the Fuck possession again. It's a good tackle by Matt Rich. He's just come on. The man signed from Bournemouth. And it looks like Newcastle are going to get it away. Rolando Aarons. Spots Lazar here. I'm not sure what Lazar's pace is, but he has got it into the middle here. Fayose Perez. I wasn't trying to play it to Matt Ritchie, but if the cap fits, feel free to wear it. Matt Ritchie had no space to work that. It's a good tackle from Mbemba. Diame to Tiote. Rolando Aarons. Try to come in here now with some skills to pay the bills. Oh, it's a tame shot, although you could have the excuse that Perez is standing in the way. I feel like I would rape you. No, I wouldn't do that. I'd ask you first. Well, 
and might be a chance for Newcastle. Don't worry, soldier, I'm a gentleman. Gale has been shoulder barged off the ball there. I see the problem with some of my forwards, they don't have strength. It's only strength and I feel like Chiquiote. Fabian playing across to Mascarell. Debic now out to. So out, well out oh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm not going to bother trying because they're going to maybe score again. It's Richie headed out well. Passed. Richie Aarons has played a beautiful ball through there to Ayose Perez. He didn't get that yard of pace, which he has managed to do. It could be over. Gale couldn't quite get the space to receive that through ball. He would, a lot has happened while you were gone. Anyway, Safarovic is coming on for Rebic. I'm just reading out the chat, guys, to myself as well as to, to anyone else watching. And then I'm watching on YouTube. And this goes up on YouTube, of course. Because it will go up on YouTube. Well, it's so Lazar, Dwight Gale now, trying to, trying to cut in and he can't, why, yeah, why is this a thing, why is this a fucking option? Mascarell, Teote tried to get across, it has come back to Matt Ritchie here, who's just lost it again. Some guys on this team I don't have much faith in to be honest. Some guys I have a bit of faith in, and some guys I have a lot of faith in. Like Mitrovic, he scored the goal, I've got faith in him at the moment. So he lets me down. Here's just Gamez, Teote, Dwight Gale has got a chance now. Playing it back in to Momo Diame. 2 1. The signing from Hull to Newcastle has scored. Mohamed Diame to put Newcastle 2 1 up with 12 minutes remaining in this match. That is exactly what the two needed for this match. I'm actually just going to quickly check something while that net. goal is being celebrated. I'm going to quickly check if Newcastle are the Magpies. Because that's going to bug me now. There's a lag, I apologise. I'm just quickly browsing the internet. The manager is applauding. It is Newcastle who are the Magpies, so I knew I wasn't wrong. As we head into the final 10 minutes of this contest, this first group stage match in this pre-season tournament, the European International Cup, we have actually got two on leads, which is pretty impressive. Do you like your life, Cami? Well, I did until today when you came back. Substitution about to happen. Gacinovic. Hasebe, what we need to do is defend now. I'm going to switch oh, it to defensive just so we play a Managing little more the behind the ball. Masquerel's got it again forward. though. It's a bit of a dirty a tackle there it's and it's given Frankfurt a good free kick position there. Oh That's no. Marco Roos, not Royce, but Roos is going to come on here for Bastian Oczipka. We call him Oczipka because we're not going to see him again. Unless... Frankfurt also reached the knockout rounds, then we may. However, the men have come on the field, believe in the field, believe in the fact that they could score a free kick here. The Newcastle fans are celebrating here. You can see the flags, you can see the black and white jerseys. You can also see the Newcastle fans mixing in with the Frankfurt fans as well. Good relations here between these two teams, apparently. The referee sprays the white line. No cocaine jokes. Plus, Dells looks ready to save this. The wall looks ready. It's going to go from this car, uh, from the free kick. As this guy to stand behind the wall and kiss the wall, doesn't seem to block it. Well, it it's gone over. And it's turned out to be a very big miss. Did you well, just get people 17? I got it for Christmas. End, so yeah, basically, so like, just got it. That was way off. That was a lot further off than the first look. A terrible free kick from Frankfurt, and surely they've just run the match away now. Right, let's try and waste a bit of time. Let's not waste too much time, but let's waste a bit of time. Try and get this 2-1 victory secured. Teote. Finds Gámez. The Frankfurt Gamez players are Gamez. pressing. Rolando Aarons has got some space on this left side. Newcastle on the attack. 
He's cut in nicely. Orlando Aaron. Oh, it's a very good save. And it looks like Dwight Gale's trying to get in the way there. I'm not sure if it was intentional getting in the way, but he just got away in time. Maybe he was trying to obstruct the keeper's view. I'm not sure, but it's a good save anyway. It looks like we haven't got long left in this match. Just under two minutes plus whatever stoppage time we get. And it looks like it's going to be Aaron to deliver the ball in, and he will do indeed. Straight to Ayose Perez. Oh, it's just bounced wide. I think that may have come off a Frankfurt player. Can we do a Club Penguin stream? No. Just a straight play no to that. I'm not doing Club Penguin stream. Why would I do a Club Penguin stream? Anyway, I could always stream games I have on Xbox One so I get some good equipment. So Even if I wanted to do a Club Penguin stream, which I don't, I couldn't. So Play it back post a little bit. Straight to Kieran Clark. Off the post, the rebound. Oh man, it could have been three. Maybe it should have been three. Richie's going to win the race. Back into Teote. Finds Ayose Perez. It's a very good defensive block. And now, in the few minutes of injury time we have left, it could be an equaliser, but it's defended well by Cancel and Bemba, my strongest defender. There's a rhyme there, really. That could be a football chant in the chat. Well, this could be the last attack for them. Well, it's an important Clark coming across, he's not fully ball. away. Oh. Bell's had it covered and the full time whistle is gone. It's a victory in the first pre season game but for Newcastle United, exactly the way I wanted to kick off FIFA 17 career mode. Get it kick off because of playing football. Ha ha ha, can be funny. But, yeah, basically, that's exactly how I wanted to kick off career mode. I'm not even going to lie. That was a beautiful, beautiful victory. Goals from Diame and Mitrovic gave us the win. They did score for Fabian, but it wasn't enough. Who won the full-time score? I'm very happy that we won. My first FIFA game that I've actually streamed, and I won. So we'll look back at the goals again. The ball came through by, from Gale. Mitrovic got a lucky tackle in and a beautiful finish. He wasn't going to mess up from that range. Surely not. Are you still a United fan? Sadly, yes. <laughs> At the moment, I wish I wasn't, but sadly, yes. This is a beautiful pass and move up from Frank, but I've got to give it to him. Very nice. Out to the left, back into the middle. Fabian was in the perfect area. There was no marking him. And Chelsea did nothing about it. But then we had the match winning goal here from Mohamed Diame. I believe it was Gale or maybe it was Perez, I'm not sure, with the pass through and Gale slotted it. It wasn't Gale, it was Diame who slotted it expertly into the bottom left hand corner. And it gave us the goal we needed to win. So I'm happy about that. So man of the match was Jesus Gamez apparently for us, although that really wasn't true. It was just the feature player on the fucking uh, on the thing. We actually had quite a lot of eights. We had Aaron's Gale, Diame and Clark with eights, but the man of the match was Mitrovic with an 8.3 rating. So congratulations to Alexander Mitrovic scoring the first goal and getting the first man of the match of the series. You're a Newcastle fan. Is that because I'm doing the career mode or are you actually a Newcastle fan? I'm not sure. I, I'm actually, I, don't, I, just, I actually don't know. So loan offer accepted. We've reviewed your request to take Atraf Hikimi on loan and the decision of Real Madrid is to accept your request. One year... 26,500 lovely jubbly so soldier this is a risk that I'm taking for you because soldier you wanted this man at the club <laughs> fuck's sake you're not gay well we know that's a lie so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually push up Aaron's because I want him to grow massively is it Aaron's or Aaron's I call him Aaron's because it sounds more posh Aaron's just gonna fully train up Aaron's for the first the first training drill. I need I need a drill where I can get him up to a oh it's close enough, whatever. We'll do this one. Um then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna train cells because he is our main goalkeeper. I would like him to be at the best of his ability. And no less. So there we go, put a bit of training on 
details as well. See how those go. Probably not too great. It is a first training session. Better than I expected. Advance. I wonder if we'll get any more transfer news before the uh, Bologna game. We've got a try. Uh, we've got a final scout report on Anthony Knockart. Nothing matters because he was recently signed to. Uh, Recently signed to Brighton, so I couldn't get him. In your response to your recent inquiry of Adam Unas, we would consider a bid in the region of 6.5 million. What were his stats like? I will have to check that out. Maxime Lestien has recently joined them at Ruben Kazan. Fifth, I've put a 10 million bid in. They're not budging from 21. How about if I put 10 million and a player in? Now, this is going to be risky, but it might be worth it to get our man here. Let's put... Do you know what? For Soldier? For Soldier, let's put Teote in. And let's up it to 12.5. I'm sure Liverpool would like to take Teote off our hands. I don't want to spend all my money on one player, because I do that mistake a lot in career mode off-screen. So, I want to try and... Spend a little bit all around. I also want to get a goalkeeper as well. I I have sales, but I'm not fully confident in his abilities. I mean, he did okay in the last game. He actually only conceded one, and he did put in some good saves, to be fair to him. But still not sure. But anyway, we're going to check up the squad a little bit. I want to give a chance to all the players. Even though some of them, like this man here that I'm going to bring on, uh, could be leaving the club. Gale is going to go off. Perez is going to come on. Perez and Mitrovic can start. Diame can come in for Teote this game. And Lissell is a young guy who could do very well at his club. Yedlin can come in. I think that's okay for now. Uh, who are the tired ones? Atsu, Lazar, Mbemba. Okay. That's Sue Lazar and Bemba. So what we're going to need is we're going to need a left back on the bench. Ben Gamez can come off completely. We're going to left back on the bench. We're going to right mid on the bench. I actually have a... Oh, I've got Richie. Actually, we'll put Richie on and we'll give Atsu a break. And I think that looks okay, right? Is that... That's good. Um, I don't care what you guys think. That's good. Gives me a chance to rotate all the players. The younger players that I'm leaving in the reserves probably won't get used at all. Hence why I'm putting them out on loan. And if I'm if I've any players I've got in there which I haven't turned a transfer marker or put on loan, like maybe Hanley or Hayden. I think I put Hayden on the transfer marker actually. But any guys that are using there, like Hanley, they'll get an opportunity eventually. Hanley's just not number one choice. Actually Hanley's got Hanley's higher rate than LaSalle. What's LaSalle's age? LaSalle's twenty two. Hanley is twenty four. Do you know what? We'll have Hanley on the bench, because Clark is looking pretty exhausted. So I think that'll work okay for me, in my opinion. Um, so that looks okay. So I was going to be our squad for the second game. Of course, I'm still trying to get Origi. We could maybe bring in Ian Nacho on loan as like a backup guy. We'll put a scout on him and we'll inquire as well. Nine days left to scout Kalechi Ayanacho. But anyway, we're going to head into the Bologna game. We are now the away team, apparently, but we're going in the home kit regardless. We're at the Veltons Arena again. I'm not sure where this tournament is taking place, actually, what country it is. I didn't really check at the beginning. But, um, wait, can I check in here? Can I check the stadium? No. Stadium set to however it is. I could put snow on just because I can't. Never mind. I'll we'll have it as overcast then. We'll just leave it as it is. I'm not going to mess around with the settings. I don't even know if it was overcast, but it is now. So, yeah. So, in this game, I've changed up a few players. We've got Cell still in goal. We've got Lazar still at left back, but instead we switched Gammy's out for Yedlin. We've got Lazelle and Bemba with the defensive partnership there. Hanley will probably come on from Bemba later on in the game. We've got Teote and Callback in the middle. Is it Teote? It's not Teote. It's Diame. Because they've got an accent over their E's in their names. So it's Diame and Callback in the middle. Gufran out on the left. Richie out on the right. 
And in the striking positions, we've got Perez and Mitrovic. I'm keeping Mitrovic on because A, he has more stamina left from the last game. And B, he scored the goal that puts... Well, he scored the first goal of the career mod. So I've got to, I've got to have faith in him as the main striker. You know? Penalties again, are you mad? Really? We're already one hour into this 12-hour stream. It's gone fucking fast. Uh, right, yeah, no, just let me, let me take a penalty, I don't really, really care how this goes. Straight down the middle is usually where I'm going to be putting all my penalties, because I still fucking don't know how to take penalties in this game. But we're going to head into the match now, I'm going to take a quick drink whilst it's loading up. Well, welcome again to the European International Cup, this pre-season tournament. We are at the second match stage for you. Well, obviously the players aren't fully match fit. But uh, under the spotlight of the cameras and a lot of supporters, you expected to put in a good performance, and it's not always easy. We have Bologna playing today against Newcastle United. All right, so Ferrari's on their this team. The yes, uh, Lefty, it's a 12 hour stream Four, three, three. to celebrate New Year. Got natural wide players Although I'm finishing, it half, an, I'm finishing it half an hour before New Year so everyone can go like celebrate midnight and whatever with their families or friends or whatever they're doing midnight. But I'm going to be streaming for half 11. Um, yeah, so it's a 12 hour live stream to celebrate 2017. It does say the title, I think, and if it doesn't, I need to change that. It's a quick attack from Newcastle. I've just realised I was attacking quickly there. Well, explaining that it's a 12 hour stream. Francesco is coming away, Bologna, it won't be a Terrific full 12 hour stream, it's going to cut off whenever I change games, it'll cut off and restart because well, can be for some reason that's really what happens, but team, yeah it will be 12 players. hours We've altogether until well, around, around, there, around that sort of time, well, uh, it'll probably be about 10 minutes or 15 minutes less than that due to game changes whenever I change from FIFA to say GTA or Rocket League or something. You need my advice. Okay. Is it advice for a sensible thing or a completely dumb thing? Because if it's a sensible thing, then you're fucked. If it's a dumb thing, then yeah, I'll, I'll have to help. Uh, just, yeah, sure. What would you advice on that? Very good tackle from Lazar there. Bologna have made it past the centre backs there, but they haven't made it past my left back. The tackles are too easy for them to make. We need to be wiser and sharper on the ball. Like they seem to be strong a good challenge. tackle. A very strong tackle. It's actually left the player down. Don't know what to do here. He's got back up on his feet. Good friend's gonna continue playing the Ame callback. But the De uh, DeAndre Edlin on the right here. Casey right back that we signed from Spurs. Well, we didn't well. sign, but it was already automatically signed. Perez has gone go. for it, and it's well, gone way wide. Give it a try, but, you know. So, like I said, this was originally going to be 24 hours, but I felt like that was just too much. Maybe next year. Actually, probably will be next year. If, I, if I'm still streaming by then, I'll do one next year. If I'm not, then I won't, obviously. A short pass out to Mayetta and Donsa now. Donsa, the new signing for them, 7 million as you saw in the Pulga. previews at the beginning. Nice interplay between need the to two keep an eye on him. I think he's a centre defensive mid for them. Ferrari, we need to keep an eye on him as well because his name is Ferrari and that's just not a guy you want to have against. My mid defence not covering, thank you and Bemba. I might have been, no, I think, I don't want to sound Patience racist when I say this, but I think we'll sell. And uh, Yedlin is going to have to sell. The sells here, so. Butchering, it's probably actually LaSalle, but. Mm. I'm going to call him LaSalle, actually. I don't want to get fucking. Well, okay. when it's not. Oh my god, you fucking idiot. Call back, you. Call back. It's a mess, it's a shambles. We need to get it where. Alright, it's, it's a way enough, but they are back in possession, and that's not what we want. That is definitely not what we want. Callback with a good tackle. That's why he plays at the centre defence in the field spot. Diame, Lazar, Johan Gufran. He's actually cutting well here. It's still with Johan. He's tried to put it into Perez, but it's gone straight to Saar in the Bologna goal. Mitrovic would have been a lot quicker, he could have snaffled that ball from that throw. 
but it is back now with Bologna and they could go on the attack here. Newcastle's players are way out of position here. We need to get back into our formation. Momo Diame is defending and he's a cam. Very good I mean, I did put him in a CDM role for this match, but... Down. Cells clearing it away, not anywhere in particular, well just getting out it out of his area, which is pass. a good, well, good plan here. of action. Di Francesco cross in. crossing it in, Lassell with the defence, the rebound the comes on, I'm not sure it was from, there. it's from yeah, Nagy, and, and it's gone position. wide. Should you do YouTube again? Yeah, I'd like to see what... You I'd like I'd like you to see what uh, I'd like to see what you do on YouTube and and stream yeah do streaming as well soldier what do you think I'm trying to do uh, soldier how soldier how about you stream FIFA 17 how about that the army to call back Richie cuts inside lovely to the army now Oh yeah, Soldier, I don't know if you've seen, but I might be able to get rid of Teote for you. Diame, oh, it was a good tackle. There's no way Diame is keeping that. Oh, it's a good play forward. It's some very good play. Just a shame that pass let it down. Lazar is giving it to Mbemba, who's got it away. Cut out, though. It's a bit of a stalemate, hasn't it? It's a poor tackle from Gufran, and the referee is allowed the play to go on, although he probably will go back and show yellow that tackle sells a good well. yeah you should do youtube and uh, stream again it's pretty funny to see what you do perez yedlin out on the right not the um, wide fielders the but he is a yes. very much from the blue there the army by hazard uh, i'll give it a go and Newcastle United. Perez. Here's and Dimitrovic. An and it's his second goal in Newcastle shirt. And once again, he opens the scoring in a European International Cup game. Alexander Dimitrovic. Can he be stopped? The answer at the moment is no. Two goals in two That's games so far. I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking I'm liking this man. I'm liking Dimitrovic. Liking the way he plays, liking the fact that he tucks it into the bottom corner as well. That was a beautiful little finish from Alexander Mitrovic and it's 1-0 to Newcastle. On the last day of 2016, Mitrovic not in real life, but on FIFA. Pass Gufra, they're passing it to Tabachi and to We need to defend, we need to defend. Try and get there. Quick tempo to good the passing and playing by Bologna. Try to drag the defensive players out of position is the plan here so they can sneak in. I think that's what they tried to do right here. Good Very good tracking back by Diami though. Now call back. Mitrovic not fastest, like I said. Perez pretty speedy though. Except for when he gets shoulder, blow, uh, shoulder bars the off the ball. Tackle by Diame has left Sergio the Flocari opponent down. The attack the still going. Take half time. There's no one in my house using that. the end. I'll get the lagging. Give reasons I will. But anyway, I'm 1-0. Sometimes the game needs a goal to... Uh, as long as it should, it should be yeah, okay. Well, Mitrovic has had a haircut from an 16. Answer. Unless I wasn't Mitrovic. But, who knows. Anyway, going into halftime, it was 1-0 again to Newcastle United. Just like the first game, we went to halftime 1-0. And straight after the second half begun, we conceded the goal. So what I'm hoping for, as you can guess, in the second half is not to concede a goal straight away. Hopefully not to concede a goal at all. Udinese are beating Frankfurt. I thought Frankfurt could be a dangerous team in this group, but it looks like Udinese are the main challengers for this group. I want to come top of the group. Lefty smokes orange juice. I can tell. We're heading to the second half. Newcastle will be kicking off with Here Perez and Mitrovic. Back to callback. If we can hit him on the, the break, 
very quickly. He may be able to sneak a goal and put it 2-0 up. Mitrovic tried to get in again. It's very well defended and Diame couldn't follow up. I was trying to sneak in and now they could counter our against us. It's a beautiful ball out to Tabacchi. Marcel is surrounded, doesn't know what to do. Oh, if that had been a goal, I would have cried because it would have been exactly the same as the Frankfurt game. But unfortunately for them, the header was terrible. Freaking goal kick here now for Newcastle United. Call back the target, call back heads it onto Momo Diame. Strong player in his own right. We've got Teote's strength and muscle in the midfield. We've also got Diame. Should Teote lead to Liverpool? Richie's offside. Don't oh, care about Hummels going to Bayern. Did you play in the games right now? What, like stream them or just play them as in? Just generally play them. If you, want to, if you play in the games right now, then I'd say FIFA. Oh my god. What have you done left it? Bukhari is back to Donsa. Do you play a game right now? Yes. I don't know what game you want to play. I don't know what you want to do, but yes, you should do it. That was a bit of a foul, but sure. Okay, ref. Whenever, you, whenever, your, contact lens, well. whenever your contact lens is fall out, don't worry about it. Now. That was a very good passing move, though, from the tackle, which should have been a free kick. And Paul Gar, from what I've learned from that attack, has a very venomous shot. He gets a shot in on goal. I'm not sure if Sells was saving that. It looked like he had it covered, but couldn't be sure. I don't want to hold on to a 1-0 lead. I want to try and extend it. So, that sounds really dirty. Callback. Try to keep possession. Oh, he's just lost a physical battle there. Flakari now. Polgar. Di Francesco. Keeping the ball. Cutting in. He's I don't want to make any here. rough tackles here. Shot. Di the Francesco hits hit the, the bar. bar. Sells wasn't moving. He was stranded from that. Off the bar and out for a goal kick. Now you see, Bologna are raining down shots on my goal and I don't like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few changes right here. Mitrovic, you can come off, have a rest. Uh, I'll give Murphy a bit of a chance actually. He's maybe 33 but he's a decent striker. Diame, you can come off for Teote. Damn it, you can come on for Lazar as well. Ah, uh, we might as well bring Atsu on too. Keep it all fresh. Might as well, yeah. Might as well just keep it all fresh. Five substitutions. Beautiful. Another goal Probably won't even be able to get to see today. them all on the fucking as board. Look at that. It's just gonna be the one. Yeah, his manager will be really pleased with that contribution. Wasn't it just gonna be the one? Because, uh, oh, you mean the one goal from each of it? Play him in the one substitution. I was like, no, there's five minutes. Pressing a lot of things up here. That's a good thing about these uh, pre-season tournaments. You can sub as many players as you want. I like that. I like the fact that they've done that. If they hadn't, I'd be stranded. Sells now to call back. Basically, we've got a half a new team on now. As Teote passes to Gifran. Ayose. Out to Christian Atsu. He's going to try and do what he did last game, only with a more successful attempt. He didn't even get as far as last time. Last time he cut all the way in and hit the post with a shot, he didn't get a chance to shoot that time. And now it could be a run from Donsa. Costell has got across nicely though. Well, Beautiful defender from the young centre back. Perez. Fair play for Daryl Murphy. Daryl Murphy has come through. He has a very good tackle though from the Bologna defender. What do you do on FIFA? Make a career mode. Or do some ultimate team. Or maybe even do a journey. Do something you haven't done yet. Tabachi. It's in the middle. Oh, it's back in. Oh, it's a bit of a muddle, but it's cleared away eventually by Newcastle. Good interception. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you like They've doing on FIFA. Well. Do you like doing career mode? Do a career mode. If you, if you want to play ultimate team, do that. I don't know. That's great defending there. So ask me for tips on what to play, because I just did career mode on FIFA. That's gone oh, over, that's thank God. What a shame I actually got a little bit panicky there, but I was still parking, so I didn't want to panic to keep it to my voice. That looks shit now on the replay. 
But it seems if you do, you shouldn't do anything. It'd be a lot of, a lot of trouble having sex with about 30 or 40 players and then a shit ton of staff as well. Probably shouldn't do any of them. Um, you should probably pick pick a team that will give you a challenge. Like, I'm trying to get Newcastle back into the Premier League. Try and pick a team like Newcastle maybe, or Aston Villa or Norwich. Or maybe play as a team in the Premier League that needs to avoid relegation or something. Give yourself like a little bit of a challenge. So that's kind of what I'm doing with Newcastle here. That's why I picked teams that would challenge me. Well, like Burnley and Hull and Norwich and Aston Villa and Sunderland that. and Newcastle for the full. Thing is, nobody actually voted Norwich. And it's going to be a yellow card here for the Bologna player, I think. Could be wrong, maybe it's just to tell him off. No, he's a yellow. And it will be that's for Flakari. No, it's for Pogar, sorry, my bad. It's Flakari Fl uh, complaining and stuff like it could have been him getting yellow. I didn't really see the really tackle, but it was a pretty bad tackle, and Teote has been mown down there. Vladislav well, Krejci coming on and now the for Federico Di Francesco. You feel like you like you like fighting black people. I, t I read that as you feel like it. I don't know which is worse now. I think about it. Lascelles is now playing it into Chiote. Moving forward again, and Newcastle United. Chiote try to find some. There's no room. There's no passing options. Gonna have to give it back to Lascelles. Paul Dummett now. Good friend. Trying to cut in. Maybe should have gone for a crossing Stopped attempt. Might have served him better. It could be a counter now for Bologna. And I don't want that Sergio at all. Flocari. Or you could go as like a good... You could go... Instead of going uh, like a shitty Premier League danger. team or a good championship cross. team, maybe go as like He's fucking Real Madrid and just buy everything. Perez. Into Teote. Everyone's inviting me to fucking everything. Um, is there a way to turn notifications here. off on Xbox One? Because I'm seriously about to do it. So we're coming Could be a rapper. Now okay. The last 15 minutes. This is an Verde is out right. No, 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 no. That's a very good tackling by Paul Dummett. It looks like we're gonna, if we are gonna get a win, we're gonna have to take the one nil. Not very many goals so far in this career mode. Three for us, one for well, three goals scored, one conceded so far. Could be two here if it's not headed away by Lascelles. Oh, you fucking kidding me? That should have been saved. I'm not, I'm not happy with that. I'm really not happy with that. That should have been saved. Lascelles knew exactly where that was going. Lascelles should have got a tackle he ran straight past. Lascelles should have been there quicker, but he wasn't. A little bit upset, but Krejci has equalised now for Bologna. And it's going to come down to the final game against Udinese if it comes up. If it stays like this, because I believe Udinese are probably still winning. But Krejci... He scored. You like fighting black men, of course you do. Is, uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Callback. Now Newcastle have got this game, 11 we'll minutes. Now 10 the minutes to try, to try and get a goal here. Gufran is in an out wide position, but there's nobody in the fucking middle. Piote, uh, no options at all. Somehow finds Ayose Perez with the pass. It heads here. away. Piote has got it back. Oh, it's intercepted before the ball can get to Gufran. Substitution now. I swear, fuck if they can't attack and score, I'm gonna cry. Okay, substitution. You're not There's racist. No okay, good. Aquafresca. What a name. Aquafresca is coming on for Flakari now. Six and a half minutes remaining, plus injury time. I'm a little bit nervous now. I want to get the win here. A point is good because it's better than zero points. But. Like I said, instead of getting one, I'd love to get three instead, probably. Simone Verdi. Simone Verdi now. A good tackle by Teote, but the somehow Verdi is still think, managed to get pass off. Be a Beautiful ball, and it's a good header away. Teote. Atsu now. Daryl Murphy, the 33 year old. He's offside. Well Callback is going to be allowed to continue here. Atsu. And oh, for fuck's sake, he was literally just pushing me off the pitch. 
You'll fight Drake. Okay, of course you will. Emil Kraft is coming on now for Alex Ferrari, and I believe Bologna are just wasting time and are going to take the point, which is kind of upsetting because I would love to have gotten two wins on the trot, but a point's good enough. Professional seems a lot more difficult in this game. I didn't even throw it there. I don't know what the fucking game is doing. I threw it backwards to the fucking Atsu. And it's just... Oh, it's just screwed me over. Whatever. Get up off the ground, you little fucking pissy bag. I'm annoyed now because I should have won this. Fells has pissed me off. Atsu is pissing me off. Everything's pissing me off. That wasn't even a fucking late tackle. If they score a winning goal now, control is going out window. Tells the people that are in, you little fucking prick. It will go deeper. Yellow card as well for Perez. Not for Perez, for Yedlin. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the book. He didn't want to stop the play at the time, and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back, but good to see advantage being played. I was kind of hoping they'd bring their goalkeeper up for this. But it looks like they're not doing. They actually just want the point. So, fuck. I really need to defend this. Maybe make a break away for it. Oh, it's a very good punch away. Free kick to us as well. Fine. I'll take the point. Whatever. Verity has fouled my goalkeeper, apparently. Not happy with the result of this, but... There's a... Always gonna be a close game. Still looking to get it clear to someone, just anyone. Iosi Perez has found Murphy in the middle. It could be our Looking last chance. Murphy. Murphy! Oh my god! The man I wanted to sell because he was 33 years old. The man that I didn't want in my club because I was never going to play in. I give him one chance. I sub him on. And he scores the winning goal in injury time. I know it's a group stage game, but I'm still fucking hyped he's got a last minute winner. Daryl Murphy, you are staying. I'm bringing you off the transfer list. <laughs> In fact, I didn't think I'd put, I didn't put you on the transfer list. It's given it as an own goal. Are you fucking mad? Has it really given it as an own goal? It may have given it as an own goal. But that's Murphy's. I don't care. That is Murphy's. There was no way that was an own goal. I think I may have actually been travelling wide though. Uh, uh, except for a little deflection. But please tell me that's it now. Oh my Newcastle fucking god! I am happy. My mood has gone from pissed off to happy. 2-1 well, victory. Another 2-1 victory, and actually. I've had two 2-1 two victories now. And that puts me top of the group stage, right? Unless it's Nazi have had a good goal difference in their game. That is mental. It was end-to-end -end stuff. They had a corner in the last minute. I got it clear. From the free kick, it came straight to Perez. Perez saw the pass to Murphy. Murphy went in the middle, realizing he didn't have enough speed to go through the middle of both defenders. Realized we got tackled, so turned out to the left, turned to the outside of the left centre back, took a shot. So luckily a deflection, but yeah, it gave us no goal when it really wasn't. But anyway, you saw Mitrovic's goal there while I was talking. Here it is again, a beautiful side foot effort to bottom left. Cool, calm, collective as you like. Following that, we had the equaliser on the 79th minute by oh, Ladislav Krejci. I'm not going to lie, it was a nice little run and a good goal, but honestly, I could have done better than that. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish Chelsea had got that. He probably could have done had he not been incompetent, but regardless, it's another good goal by the opposition. In the last game, Fabian scored a good goal, but then here was the winner. Now, there may be a bit of debate here as to whether that actually is Murphy's. I don't know where Murphy was shooting that, to be quite honest, but I think it did. I think if it hadn't taken the little dink off Maeta, it wouldn't have been a goal. But I don't know. Who knows? We'll never know. Let's look at player ratings. Let's see who was the best man on the pitch. Didn't come from our team. The man of the match is not a Newcastle United player. Perez and Mitrovic both got eight. Then match winner Darrell Murphy only got a 6, which is kind of dumb. He's the lowest rated player on the pitch, despite scoring the match winning goal. And I'm still counting that as Murphy's goal, I don't give a fuck. But the man of the match goes to Aoki Nomu, 
who is one of the Bologna defenders who I didn't actually see too much of, to be honest. I'm guessing he did a strong showing in defence, stopping us from getting goals, but we won regardless, not deservedly. The stats fucking prove we shouldn't have won. We definitely should not, we, well, we didn't deserve it, even if we... We didn't deserve it. But we did take the win from them in the last minute. I'm fucking happy. Udinese beat Frankfurt 2 0, which means they'll be top of the group by goal difference. Because they were top before and they got one more goal difference than me in that other game. So, excuse me. Heck burp there. I don't know if you guys heard that, but let's see. Udinese top with four goal difference and we are behind with two goal difference. Basically, we just need to beat Udinese in the next game. To go top of the group. But we don't even need to go top of the group. We're qualified already. Like, we don't even need to play the final game. Bologna and Frankfurt literally can't catch up. As for the Group B, Montpellier, Mans, Colm and Hamburg. All of them have a chance of getting qualified. I think Montpellier is qualified already. Like, actually, if Mans and Colm win, I don't know the last games for them, but... Whoa, it's all to play for in that group, whereas in our group, Udinese and Newcastle have literally just fucking walked it. But uh, anyway, we've got three office messages here, transfer offers. We've received a transfer offer for Vernon and Nita. I'm not sure if I'd put him on the transfer list, but we'll have a look. 1.7 for a 2.7 million player. Match his valuation and you can have him. I'm not. I'm probably not going to use Anita that much, to be honest. I wanted to let you know that I'm a bit worried having read some of the speculation surrounding me. I want to ask you to give me another chance to prove that I'm the best man for the job. I may have just counter offered for your valuation, but shh. It's okay. In your response to recent inquiry of Kalechi Ayanacho, we would consider a bid in the region of 15 million. Career mode is a lot different this year. Last year, Ayanacho probably would have gone for like 1 million. But no, not this year. These are fucking more greedy. We've reviewed the offer you made for Divo Carigi. Unfortunately, we cannot go ahead with the deal because we're not interested in the player you've included in the deal. And the cash amount on its own is not enough. If you're willing to make a new offer, we will reconsider. Right, let's, how about this? How about 15 million? And not Teote because they're not interested in Teote. So, I'm sorry, soldier, you won't get your wish. How about... Wait, did Mitrovic go up to 77? Nice to 76. Uh... 15 million and you can have Shelby back. It's 15 million you can have Shelby back. Because I don't really want them. I say Shelby back because he used to play for Liverpool. For you, for you guys who didn't, didn't know that. We've got quite a few messages actually. We've reviewed your asking price of 2.7 million for Vernon and Ita. And have decided to match and go ahead with the deal. So then Etienne representative will now decide... Will now meet with his agent to negotiate his contract. If I could read... It would be a fucking miracle, wouldn't it? Um, international management. I just want to congratulate you and wish you the best as the new manager for Newcastle United. As your agent, my job will now be to keep an eye out for potential opportunities to coach the national team in addition to club duties. As you start to make a name for yourself in the coming months, different national football associations will be looking for managers. So it's important that you perform, perform well in order to attract interest. Looking ahead, keep in mind that your league club and uh, your league and club prestige is a key factor in determining what national teams will consider you for the job. Regards, Alexander Graf. He's going to write Graf about us. I'm, I'm sorry. I've seen the professional team for the next game, and I'm among the, the subs. I've been playing well, so I really want to keep that momentum going, boss. I'm just juggling the team around there, and I'm not sure if you've been it or not. Gufran didn't have the best of games, and you actually performed, well, you actually performed pretty shit, to be honest. But I will put you in because you have got more stamina. Everyone else looks okay though, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Although I do like the idea of having Gale and Perez up front. I know Mitrovic has been good. I don't know. Yeah, no, Mitrovic has been good. I'm sorry. Sorry, Perez. But Mitrovic, like I said, he's been good. Uh, we'll have Diami and Callback still in the middle. Teotic can stay on the bench. Gamers can come back in for Yedlin. LaSalle can come off for Hanley. We'll give Hanley a bit of game time. Clark can come on the bench. And Hakimi, actually. Actually, Hakimi. Fuck Gamez. 
Kimi, 17 years of age, 68 rating, apparently an 80 potential, according to Soldier. Not incredible, not out of this world, woohoo, fucking celebrate New Year, which is what I'm doing, incidentally, in about 11 hours. But, um, he could be okay. So we'll give him, we'll, we're giving Soldier the benefit of the doubt here. So three more games, considering, um, well, that's if we get to the final. Two more games if we reach the semi-final. We've got at least two more games. Because we've got this last group stage match, and then we've got a semi-final match. We might not make it to the semi-final, which means that'll be the end of the FIFA part. And I'll go on to GTA with people, or I'll maybe do a Rocket League first, and then go on GTA later. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Or um, I, could, I could always continue career mode if you guys want to see a little bit more, but I don't want to overplay it and get bored. So I think I probably will end it at the end of the preseason tournament. And we'll move on to a different game. But um, I've got my squad. I've got my match. Let's go into it. This is basically decide decide who will come top in this um group. So we're gonna have sales in the goalkeeper spot again because Darlo is sixty nine rated and he's a year older and I don't trust Darlo one bit. No offense, Darlo. Lazar is gonna be left back. Hakimi is going to be the right back. Hanley and Mbemba will be the centre backs this game. Callback and Diame will be the centre defensive mids. Even though Diame's position is actually a centre attacking mid, he can play both, I believe. Aarons will be out on the left. Richie will be out on the right. Mitrovic and Gale will be up front. I would have put Perez in, but Mitrovic has scored in the both in both the games so far. Let's see if he can make it three and three. Who knows? Hmm. Who does know? I mean. I think I have some sort of control over the fact of whether he scores 3-3 three and three or not. But regardless, it's not the point. It's taking a while to load up this training drill. Can you please give me free kicks already? Okay, so I... Hmm, yeah, okay. Free kicks are basically the same as FIFA 16, but I still haven't mastered them yet. Which is kind of weird, because they're the same. I swatted that target and I got it, so... Yeah. Oh, crossbar challenge. Alright, final game. Get another quick drink. Well, the players getting fitter game by game. It's the third round of matches in this European International Cup, this pre-season tournament. Yeah, we're getting into the swing of things now. We've seen some pretty entertaining football so far. Hoping for more of the we're going to be here. kicking off this final group right game here. This is basically... Best versus best, the best two teams against each other. I feel like we're going to be facing Udinese in the final if we get to the final, which is a haunting prospect, especially if we lose them in this game. Lazar passing around, just testing some passes out. Diame has already lost it. Well, we've gone with a four, but three, three, back, three formation so here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Gale, yeah, I mean, he can Richie, back to Gale. Do it to Mitrovic. Here's the shot. He tried it again and it's gone there. wide. Yeah, he might have done better there. Had a bit of time Got a space different the position. position than his other two goals have been. And also that was on his right foot. The other two goals he scored so far were on his left foot, which I believe is a stronger one. I'm not sure though. Not really familiar with Newcastle players. I'm going to lie. Now in there's a goalkeeper, Perisan. We've got options. Going to pass it short to Wag. Or Wagway. Wag, Wagway. I don't know what that means. Wagui. Give me a second. Get messages. Did you not get Battlefield 1? No, I did not. But yeah, no, I didn't get Battlefield 1. I actually asked for it as well, but my parents never have money to get Battlefield 1 and all the other games I wanted, so I will probably buy that down the line. Akimi has made a bit of an impression here, given this is run. Akimi is going to be a guy to watch because that's Soldier's, Soldier's guy that was recommended to me. I was also recommended uh, Knockout by Soldier but um, yeah, as you saw when we tried that Brighton and like having because he, he recently joined the club. Mitrovic has just fallen well. over his own fucking long legs. Fafana. 
As you can see, I start off pretty professional with these career Good modes, man. and then as I play for longer and longer, Good I get defending. more sweary, less professional with the commentary. I just get more and more angry. For no reason. Except for the fact that I can't score goals. Call back. Gale. Oh, this is lovely. Richie. Oh, I thought he just powered that straight in. He's put it wide, number 11. You fucking moron. That could have been the goal. The first top of the group. The only team in this tournament to win all three matches in the group stages. Kicked out to Ryder. It's stopped by Diame Adnan now. Dwight so like Gale. Diame call back. Plays again. it through to Alexander Mitrovic who gets tackled. That's the first time I think Soldier's ever supported me. He's Diame, like, what the fuck? Rolando. Oh, that's a beautiful run, a beautiful skip pass. Mitrovic! Are you fucking kidding me? He's incredible. Um, that was maybe a luckier goal, although his first goal was lucky too. But Mitrovic has got three and three. Mitrovic is going to be a fucking club legend by the end of this series. Like, literally, he's going to be a top scorer in the Premier League. We're going to win the Champions League because of Mitrovic. Best thing is, he's 21 years of age at 76 overall, so he's got a lot of time to grow. So, fucking suck it. Another goal from Mitrovic. I love it, I love it, I love it. And that is why I played Alexander Mitrovic. All right, 1-0 against Sudanese, exactly what we wanted. Exact Amundo, what we wanted. Fofana. Fofana. Alfredson. Widmer. Good forward play from I don't care who it is, it's an attack by Udinese and I don't want it. Oh, that's a very good stop by Sells. I've improved from FIFA 16. I don't know if that's good or bad. Because I was pretty shit at FIFA 16. Richie. Dwight Gale. Callback. Spots Aaron's up left with no one to some potential in this No one world. on him. No one marking him, basically. Mitrovic has almost come through again. Mitrovic is trying to fucking force his way through the defence. Dwight Gale may pick up on this mistake and he's fucked it up, but it has been deflected. I fucking hope that's been deflected. If that's just Dwight Gale's shot, I'm not going to be happy. Was that, No, that was actually a shot. No, that was legit Gale's shot. Oh, fuck off. Go back to Crystal Palace. Oh, uh, whatever. Gale almost got it. Well, Gale Benjamin almost... He's got it back again from his became teammate. the ultimate opportunist. He almost got became the, the radar in. superstar. But, um... Couldn't quite well, this finish the chance. Got a bit of menace to it. Fana. 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 Guys, my, stop. I'm trying to change player, but my defence is like statue. If they're AI controlled, surely should still move. The marking guy, who's not even getting the ball. It's a good save though from Sells. And no pun intended here, but Sells is the only thing saving us right now. Lodi. The ball in. Oh my god. Beautiful. Beautiful grab. And now Aaron's with the pace to run the place. He's made it past. Plays into Alexander Mitrovic. Of course, not the fastest. Tried to play it forward to Gale, but apparently FIFA didn't want me to do that. Instead, they played it to fucking callback, and now Udinese back, back with the ball. However, it has been intercepted. Aaron's now. Probably played through to Mitrovic, but it's cleared well, away. Until it was the Gale tries to set Mitrovic for possible second goal of the match. It's going to be a throw in, and it's going to be taken line. from our top goal scorer of the tournament. Matt Ritchie. 
Matt Rich is just trying to swing one in. He has done. It's cleared out by the goalkeeper with a punch. And it looks like it's going to be cleared away by Udinese. And not only that, it looks like it could be a terrible counter-attack. Unless Mbemba gets across here. He has done, but it's still in possession of Udinese. Some good defending though there from Newcastle has kept us in, oh well, in the game there. Absolutely on top of his game. Bloody Ryder. Well, the Adnan out, here out away. west. Well, Trying to get in. That's an easy they? defensive clearance for Lazar, but it's not fully away. Well, for something that wasn't kick. even intentional. And, uh, there it goes. Can go. Work, the no, it's not with my broadcast. There's a problem with Twitch. And the problem with Twitch is it can't fucking process my broadcast. Anyway, it's a good potential area for Udinese to score his free... Where's my goalkeeper? Okay, he's in his goal. Thank God. I thought my goalkeeper just fucking... A good position for Udinese to strike this. He's right there, just in case. Oh my God. Is it me or is the AI... 17. Look at that. Horrible shot. Horrible, 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 horrible. 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 Hairball. It's like coughing up a hairball, that shot. Goal kick has been in for Gale, one of the smallest guys in the pitch. Oh, he's a callback as an intense interception, but callback has kept park. possession here for Newcastle. The army, Gale, got Richie's knocks not right. Gale. Coming in, oh my god, I've just been shoulder bars Francesco off it. Gale, you really need to fucking gain some muscle, mate. But if he's for 18, I hope I'm Gale in. has more muscle if I do a Newcastle United career mode again. Reminds me, I'll need to make another poll once I've done my Newcastle sure, career mode on here. It's looking good, this move. And the opposition will get a throw here because they've tried to play it into the wide areas and they couldn't find the uh, play that they were trying to pick out. Trying to fucking play it away from my area and Udinese have really just scouted all my movements the and they're going to score it and they're just going to just star. Hanley's trying to get across. Very good oh, that is beautiful the defending. That is down. beautiful defending from Grant Hanley. Mitrovic is not the fastest. Official, if that had been Mitrovic playing to Dwight the Gale, that could have been too. But of course, Mitrovic pretty with slow with the speed. So I'm not allowed to do that, but yet yeah, they're allowed to fucking molest White like Gale with their shoulders. They're on the move now. No. Gets his foot in there. They're not on the move at all. They're on the fucking not move. I don't know what you call that otherwise. They're on the not move. Alright, they were coming in with an attack there, and thankfully the ref blew the whistle at the correct time. <laughs> that could have been disastrous. 1-0 really to Newcastle. In the and don't be fooled by the fact that I'm winning every game in the, the fucking pre-season tournament. That's going to try my ass off. Once you get to the, the league, league in the cup, it's all going to fall apart. So Trust me. Excuse me. Sorry about that, I had to just go get something quickly. But anyway, Udinese 1-0 down, I don't really care about the other results to be honest. Because <laughs> it doesn't really matter what happens, me and, uh, well, Newcastle and Udinese are going through whatever goes on. Who's on less? Okay, Cobbrook's on slightly less, which means Dami's going to have to be fucking exhausted by the end of this. I'm sorry Dami, but, yeah, you know. Just looking at the tactics of Piotr this match. is coming on for callback. Maybe this substitution will hold the key. We are on match day three, remember, in this competition. We are on match stages, day three indeed. And we're into the second half of this fascinating fixture. There's a 
Probably is the most, one of the most fascinating fixtures of the tournament considering it determines A who goes top and B it's between the two best teams in the tournament. Free kick given. Damn right a free kick given. Fucking why are you running with the ball? Yeah, fucking Gianni, get the ball. Gianni's cost 45.5 million, are you kidding me? Did you really cost that much? I mean he's a good player and everything, but that much? Better be playing it's got to Hanley. Piotti. Transfer fees are getting out of fucking hand, to be honest. Bazaar well, trying to come in now. up. The referee injury. Serious injury. Widmer coming off. Thoreau coming on. Like, I thought it goes in. Imagine. Imagine if Mitrovic had got a drop ball. Put it in. That would have been fucking funny. A reminder for you that on EA Sports we Oh, our first the game in the championship will be against Fulham. They'll be facing Fulham God diddly home. damn. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about our next about game, it's our Looking first league it. game. Our next game will be against one of the uh, teams in the other group. It'll be either it could be any two it could be any out of uh, Montpellier, Mans or Maine, Colin and Hamburg. I think she's been playing in Germany now, I think about it. Well, it was a foul, oh, poor tackle. If I get a yellow card for that. Time for a change and here it comes. When you play survival with Andrew, but he loses connection. That's kind of why I'm not inviting him yet. <laughs> He'll just lag my part. It could lag my part. It lag my fucking thing out even more. Lodi coming off anyway. I don't see who coming. I didn't see who was coming on because I was reading the stream chat. So I apologise. Please let the Dean Natale. Oh shit, no, Dean Tally retired, never mind, it won't be Dean Tally. Kami has a forgetful mind, it's pretty cool. Pretty goddamn fucking cool. Diame, Piotti, Orlando Aarons, oh you fucking could have kept that in. I'm a little tough bag now. Aarons, can you just play good for at least 36 more minutes, plus 90 more, plus 90 more on top of that. Just play good for 216 more minutes, it's not... Not hard. Then you can have a few weeks well, break and we're going to the fucking league and it's getting proper underway. Right, I feel like... Oh yeah, that was a terrible shot. Does he lose connection a lot? I don't know, he's only recently got an Xbox One like the past few days. But he does lag. That was a save? In that case, that was one of the most fucking incredible saves ever. That was a beautiful save. I didn't realise he saved that. I thought I was just banged straight over. By the Udinese man. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy Udinese. Oh no. Oh my god, please be goal kick. Alright, then comes what? Does he? Cool. Or is it cuz? I don't know. It's either cuz or comes, I can't tell. Anyway, he's coming on for Fafana. Uh, it's going to be another 1 0 thriller. Taking the goal kick, Piotti wins out the header Great actually, and a beautiful pass to Ricci. Was it back to Piotti? Finds Lazar with the pass. Rolando Aaron's can make a run, except he can't because he's a been stopped by Hal Fredson, and he doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any room to make a run even if he wanted to. Well Lazar is out of position, and Hanley's had to cut across, but Lazar is covered. Don't even talk about his life. No, yeah, I know. His leg is horrible, but I don't know. Hanley to Gale, bitch. I'm gonna play it back to Tiote. Why is my stream lagging actually? For some, for some reason, apparently my broadcast quality is too high. And any lower, the highest option to be 360p, and it's already 480p. I was like it in HD, but apparently that's not gonna possible. fucking happen with this internet. Er Rolando. I tapped is, that. Well, I fucking tapped that, now. and Orlando Aaron just blasted it out match. of the Velton's arena. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. They're bringing on a striker, I think. I think it's a striker because it's number nine. 
Duvan. Duvan Dudley. Zapata. Not Duvan Dudley. Oh, she could do it on the back of his shirt. She probably named Duvan Zapata. And it lags once in a while. Well, that's still more than I'd like it to. I'd like it to be lag free, but. Scored. So, we can't get everything we want. That was a beautiful passing move. And another goal here in the tournament. That's Newcastle's sixth goal in this European International Cup. Two goals per game, it seems. It seems good, I guess. Sorry, I was in the middle of a yawn. Um, it's the same like it was in the university. Okay. Bad then. I mean, it is too bad, but, you know. What I'm saying on my screen is I've got a little sidebar up where I can see the chat and it tells me whether it's not lagging or whether it is lagging and like every 30 seconds it goes from it goes lagging. It's like it just switches now. every 30 seconds Remain. like lagging not lagging. It just can't make his mind up basically. Mitrovic. Strong challenge. Angela, the row. Good position. They've worked this attack. We should have well. put a good enough lead Good's now. It's a score. It, I would be mad, but I wouldn't be too mad because we have made a gap. Mitrovic trying to fucking track back. The striker is trying to track back. Who did thank it? That was a horrible. A <sighs> the thing, yeah, no, it is broken. Trust for, me. Twitch sure is broken, like completely. The the Not quite, though. I don't know if that was a save again or if that was a, just a straight shot. But her toe, her toe is coming on, and Wagwe Wagwe or Wagge is coming off. Hello Lenia, welcome to the stream. He means not look at the thing where it tells me whether I'm lagging or not. Anyway, cells. The army headed it straight back into fucking enemy territory. Teote, so Mitrovic, Aaron's. Oh, he skilled round him. Dwight Gale is in a good position. Oh, I'm trying to fucking come in with it, but they're always getting tackles in and there's no up front options. Well, it will be a throw in. We're going to throw now for Udinese. Corey. Pretty lazy, just like me. Amero. It is time for a substitution. Amero is match. a fucking good player. At least well, I remember on FIFA 15 he passed a lot it. of Ultimate Team coins, so that's Play how I did a good middle. player. Well, it's an easy catch for cells. My player got in the way of that and fucked us over with pride. Oh, Mitrovic tried to get around Badu, but it's not happened. Hanley is there to clean up the mess, and Teoti will bring it clear. Mitrovic. Rolando Ahrens has got no fucking speed left. He has still got... He still creates some sort of an attack here. I'll take a 2-0. 2-0 is pretty beautiful. Although Amero is attacking down the right and there is no left back for cover, but Hanley has got across. Oh my god, he's just played it right to the danger zone. Oh my god. I was trying to back pass it back to my goalkeeper, it turned to a fucking hospital pass. And now we're in trouble, but now it's an easy card. Let's just clear that. Clear that before it gets any fucking worse. Oh, Mitrovic tried to control it. It comes to Kyote actually. And Richie. Oh my god, I thought I'd just do a slip past the defender, but it didn't, and cry my balls off. Adnan now, Badu is out to the right. He should be able to stop his attack, but in case we don't... Okay, that was a very strong, strong cross to And we've given ourselves a throw in there, Hakimi has... Fucked up the mind of the uh, like this. This is one, the player. If you're bored, why are you watching my stream? Will you get more bored if you're watching this shit? The uh, Danilo's coming on. It's not the Danilo you think it is. It's a shitty Danilo. He plays for Udinese. It is a Newcastle win basically at this point. I've just got to think of options on how to. Really. It'll be the first clean sheet I've made in this career mode. Mitrovic. 
Piote. There's good progress with this attack. You're not bored of the stream, oh, wow. Sorry. What are you bored of then? And here's the shot. Oh, Mitrovic! Oh, that would have been... If that goal had gone in, I would have screamed that fucking house down. Like, that was an incredible shot. It was a good attempt. It's just a, basically a time waste right now. Don't know what you want to play. Well, I might go on GTA on uh, after this career mode thing. So you can go on there, I suppose. Oh, I might. I don't know. Fucking who knows. Rolando Aaron, please make it three. That's a fucking good catch from Perisan. And Udinese just try to get a one goal, but they're not going to get it. It's a 2 0 victory to end the group stages for Newcastle United. Three games, three wins, seven goals. Oh, six well goals ball, scored, and two conceded, pretty good record, I'll take it. Four goal difference in the end. Before this game, Udinese had the four goal difference and we had the two. And now it's switched around. Matt Ritchie and Alexander Mitrovic with the goals. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So of course, as you guys know, you gotta watch the fucking highlights, and by highlights I mean the goals, because that's really the only highlights I do. So we'll see Mitrovic again, another lucky finish here. Aaron tried, Mitrovic got the rebound, it was beautiful. You like Andrew because you can't, but you kind of don't want to play with him because everything lags. Yeah, I'm kind of the same. Like, yeah, that's me, that's me too, soldier, don't worry. And Matt Ritchie got a second goal. 22 minutes before the end, around the halfway point of the second half, if that's the thing. Like three quarters of the way through the match. There's a nice finish into the bottom left, a very strong, powerful shot. Good passing move as well to begin that attack. And it ended with a lovely Matt Ritchie goal. So, who was the man? Apparently, Hakimi got a 7.4, but Momo Diame was the man of the match with a 9.1. He got an assist. He did quite a few passes. Got some dribbles in. How's he become? How's he got nine point one? His rating. He didn't even score a goal. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't tell him. No, I won't. All right. So it looks like we're probably going to face in Colne and Montpellier. 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 Don't fucking know. And it's Montpellier. In the semi-finals, who are the other two? Udinese and Colm, it looks like. There's the fucking championship. But that's not what I'm trying to look at. Can we go back, plus? No, can we go back, plus? Thank you. No, I've gone back one too far. Can we go to here? Alright, switch the table view. I want to take a look at the final tables. So, Newcastle came to top with nine points. Udinese second with six. And Bologna and Frankfurt on one each. Which is fucking horrible. Then Colin came top of their group. Montpellier came second. Or Montpe I'm just going to call it Montpellier. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm call it Montpellier. Men's or Mans came third. And Hamburg came rock bottom. Hamburg was a team I thought would maybe come through with us. But apparently that was not the case. Remember when a house burned yesterday? Oh yeah, great banter. So what have we got here? We've got some news. First of all, we've got some tournament prize money. We've got another million to add to our transfer budget for getting through the group stage. Liverpool have accepted the offer for Divock Origi and 50 million in John Joe Shelby. That's okay. Uh, 86,000 and the player demands 90,000. What the fuck is... Do you think we're made of money? Here at Newcastle in the championship? You're just lucky I like you. Alright, you're going to be a crucial anyway. You're going to be the main striker. 79 overall and... 21 years of age. Plenty of time to grow. Uh, we've got final scout reports on Maxime Lestien, who we're not going to get because we won't let it won't let him get him. It won't let us get him because he's recently joined the club. And um, we've got our final report on Adam Unas, who I think I'm going to pass on. Unless, actually, no, he could be a good backup to uh, Belando Aaron's. So we'll put in a little bitty bid for him. Apparently six million, six point five million. So we'll give a five million offer. We have got a bit of money now, at least until the Riga deal goes through. 
You're like you love Arigi, but there's someone better. Hey Guff, I really appreciate you listening to me and let me go out this on for him. I'm not signing Janssen, fuck off. If you wanna if you want someone to sign Janssen, you need to go to another fucking career mode. Right, I'm stopping the sim there because I need to do some training. I forgot completely about training. That's my fucking bad. Uh let's train Hakimi. Clicked the wrong drill. I'm not getting Janssen though, because first of all, I don't really rate him as a player. Second of all, he's probably cost too much. I'm gonna put Mitrovic. Just show, just show you his screen. Fucking soldier, why am I? Why? Why? That's all I ask. Why? Did you say no? Did you say Carl Darlow was a potential player? If it did, then this game is a liar. Eh, uh, pretty decent training session. Not great, but not horrible. Uh, next match we've got is the Sentinel. A guy tra transfer for Kurt is good. This is a guy I wanted to get rid of. We'll accept that and we'll move on without saying anything else. That's all you ask. Fuck's sake. One sec. Party when you are finished. Okay, Dylan. I will invite you to party. See, Dylan, Dylan respects the fact that I'm not finished yet. Fucking soldier always wants me to just show him Janssen. Do you know what? Because it's you, soldier. Take a good long look. Actually, he's only 22. But he's recently arrived. I'd have to wait at least a season if I wanted Janssen anyway, so... Yeah, there you go. You've had your look. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, let's save over just in case. I haven't done that already from the last game. JK, he can go fuck himself. Well, I've shown you the... Showing you the picture now. So two more games, uh, well, one more game at least in the stream. This could be our last game of uh, FIFA part of the stream. And then again, we may have two more matches. Because we could have Montpellier, and if we win, we'll be facing either Colne or Udnese in the final. Let's take a look at the squad. I want to, I might put a second rate squad out there because of the fact that we could get to the final. But then again, I kind of just want... I don't know. I don't know what I want anymore. I don't know what I want in life. I didn't even say words there, did I? I just completely didn't. I don't know what I want in life was the words I was trying to get out. But for some reason, they didn't want to. Hanley, you can go back to bench and... Russell, you can get on the bench. The army, you can have a rest for... Um, hmm... Anita, I suppose. I've just given Anita a game. I haven't given Anita a game yet. I'm retarded, don't I? I already put him on the bench. Okay, so that's going to be our lineup for the next game. Against Montpellier. Seems like a good lineup to me, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick our home kit. They can go in the fucking... What the? Sud de France. Is that their sponsor? I'm guessing because it's in the south of France. But anyway, I talk so much shit when I can't think of anything to say. But we're going to go through the squad now. I've got Sells and Goal again. Dummett and Yedlin, the full back. Clark and Bemba, the center. Freaking Diame and Teote. No, it's not Diame at all. It's Anita. Anita and Teote are the center defensive mids. Gufran and Atsu. The wide midfielders. And up front we've got Mitrovic and Gale. Mitrovic has got 3-3. Three and three. Can he make it 4-4? Four and four? Let's fucking see. I need Mark Henry. Apparently I need Mark Henry from Newcastle. 
If only that was an option. If only that was a goddamn option. I'd put him as my CDM and no one would get past him. I'm not even trying for these free kicks. I'm just waiting for the star option to pop up. Oh, that was pretty nice curl. I didn't even curl it, so... Let's get into the game. Well, it may be a pre-season tournament, but semi-finals are always exciting. International Cup, of course. Yeah, a lot at stake here, Martin, which is a departure from my day when uh, you could get fit. I would get a long intro this the time. The one time I got, I didn't take team. a drink and we get a long Boys fucking intro. Of course, yeah. so the match today is Newcastle United against Montpellier. There's the tournament bracket, guys. Well, I swear you're always eating, like, 90% of the time. But, close enough, always. I don't think there's anyone more likely in the Newcastle United lineup to be the man of the match today than this guy. Top scorer in the league with three goals. Exactly, Alexander Mitrovic could become top scorer of the tournament, and that would be a good morale booster heading into the championship season. Interesting team this for Newcastle United. Manager, Several let's play a few changes. games. Shout out to that channel. Hey, Mark. By the way, that's not me. I just picked the fucking youngest one. Uh, I hate when people don't take a hint. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performance. See if I recognise anyone. I recognise Van den Boer. Yeah, I think I mean, he played. Glance, no, cautious, it's someone else I'm thinking of. of the played a Portsmouth. Van Dam. Not Van Dam is in John Claude. Not Van Dam is in Rob. But Van Dam is in the football player. The, the freaking Van den Boer may have played there, but I don't actually remember. In fact, I think he probably did. Who's kicking off? Is it also them? Is the man in Guess we're about to find today. out! Uh, it's the guy in pink boots. Uh, okay, I thought I almost said a bad word. But it looks like it's going to be Montpellier. Montpellier. Sorry, kicking off. Well, this could be a terrific the semi-final match in the now. European International Cup. This could be the final match of um, the career mode in this 12-hour stream. But then again, it may not be. We may make it to the final. And what morale booster it would be. In my Spurs career mode, I didn't win the preseason tournament. But in my Mansfield Town one, I did. So, I'm kind of hoping that Newcastle can be lightning that strikes twice. And my own player tripped me up there. Fucking Teote just tripped up Gale in the box. I was going to shout penalty. Everyone watching would have known that wasn't a penalty. And it was in fact... Fucking big Teote yeah, is just not me. And now Ninja. I'm just going to. Oh, Ninja. That's pretty there. close to bad word, and I don't want to fucking say it. And Ben, but I needed him for the season, you fucking prick. I don't care, give no me a fucking red. And Ben, but Ben, but better not have a serious injury, otherwise, bitches are going to get slapped. If it's shorter than a month, it should be okay because the season starts in a month. I expect it's about three weeks, but. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. It oh, first. it's defended away, and now the break. Atsu has lost it. How the fuck have you lost it? You got past that man, Atsu. You could have had the world in your hands, in your really fingertips. You Gufran, Anita. I think he'll carry on. Pass it to Atsu. So Jeff, thanks for that. Newcastle looking to get a speedy counter attack here. Good, strong, but Atsu good. can't seem to fucking dribble today. Good forward play from them. Silla. And good passing here by Montpellier. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Good tackle though by Kieran Clark. Oh, he's going for the follow up slide tackle, but for some reason I pressed X and didn't register. Remy, not the good, not the like one. I played to Chelsea, I don't know if he still goes now, but it's another one. How many people have the same name in football? Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for, gone a, out for a goal. It's not a goal. Throw in, I was going to say goal kick. Throw into Newcastle. Damn it. 
He's given mm. possession away We're here. down for He's coming for Free kick Oh, fuck off. Ref, you're actual plonker, mate. You've got no fucking friends. How was that even a free kick? It was a clean tackle, and you know it. You just want to be a little fucking prick, ain't you? This is in shooting range, but I'm not sure if he's going to shoot it from there. It's so long way. That's Ronaldo range, or maybe even Ibra range. He's not shooting that, and if he is, he's fucking more insane than I expected. Maybe he is insane, who knows? Maybe he's not insane, who knows? Who knows? Two hours and ten to the stream now. Just under ten hours left to go. Bird booze. Oh, Hilton. Oh, you fucking. Are you, are you actually joking? I'm not fucking happy. How has he got in with that? Well, he might be a defender by name, but he's got an attacker's instincts as this shows. Well, his teammates are all over him. They know he's Who headed capable that? of doing that. I think he does it plenty of times in training, but this one's valuable. Was that Mbemba? The guy I just praised, the guy that I said we need for the fucking season. He's just pissed me off now, a little prick. He's just given them a goal. He may have just sent them through to the final. We win all the group stage matches. If we go out of the semi-finals, that would look fucking horrible. So the first goal, it's one well, let's not do that. Let's try and bring back a goal. Now, let's get Mitrovic on the ball. That's it. Clark. I mean, we're only 19 minutes in. We've still got 71 minutes of game time. Plus whatever stoppage times they give us. Dwight Gale. Running through the middle is Atsu. How the fuck has he not converted that? And where the hell is tall bitch Mitrovic? That wasn't even meant to rhyme. I mean, kind of, kind of was. But. Here he is, Tobit Mitrovic. Oh, it's off the fucking outside of the post. I feel like somehow this is not going to be our game and we're going out of this at the fucking semis. Like, it's just not going to be, is it? It's just not meant to be. Why? Why, why, why? Please. Please, please, please. All right, welcome back, soldier, and congratulations on finding your phone. Fucking, if they score again, it's over. The dream's over. How are they winning all the headers? Explain your fucking self. He's left the league, bro. Good block from... Let's go. A lot of booze. Oh, of course, we got music in the world. Couldn't have Atsu or anything that could just run through and score us a goal. No. I have Alexander fucking Mitrovic, one of the slowest pricks. I, I'm calling him a prick, but he's been the best player of the tournament. Sells another good save. We're getting dominated. Sorry about that guys, my controller just decided to disconnect. Um, I don't fucking know what happened now, I was just moving in my chair. And my controller decided, no, you're not allowed to do that, mate. It's good to save from sales anyway. Soldier, is there a particular game you want me to go on next? And is he the only viewer here at the moment? That's the... It's clear to Dwight. Dwight Delight, oh Johan no, Gufran. Johan Gufran. Oh, he's burnt a hole through the defence. Good progress with this attack. Of course he fucking... Oh, the support wasn't there. How no one can fuck, fucking run faster than Johan. WWE. Okay, we'll do WWE then next. They'll need to try and get the ball Damn it, now. Gufran. Have you seen that ref? No, of course you haven't. It's right in front of your fucking eyes and you're going to do nothing about it. Return ball. Absolute wank stain. Of a ref. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Soldier, I'm really starting to see your point now. He's a fucking little toss cunt. 
Oh, but wait. If that goes in, that goes in. <laughs> Was that Mitre Mitrovic? 4-4. Four four. Uh, I don't know what else to do that's next, awesome so I'll goal. just do whatever you uh, pick. The pulled it, off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of his defenders. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the luckiest deflections, but it's 4-4 four and four now Here's for Alexander again. Mitrovic. Who else but Mitrovic to score? Let's be honest. One all, back in the game. They got lucky goal, we got lucky goal. It's only fair. Four goals in the European International so Cup for Alexander Mitrovic. And now, we're back on, we're back to square one here with a one-all draw. And I really don't want us to go to penalties because I'm fucked at penalties. I still haven't learned the way yet. Why did they change the way of penalties? I liked it how it was. Actually, no, I didn't. I hated it how it was, but... Better than this shit. Riyad Budabuz. They like to do them on pairs where you just have to fucking guess how much time you put in it. That was horrible. That was a horrible shot. Target. Why'd you even play football on it? Fancy. Big moment in the match, Alan. This the equalising goal. Your thoughts? Oh, we're gonna get to see again. the fucking shitty goal. So you see that, don't you? The ball going through a crowded penalty area, and it takes a little deflection. It takes a little oh, deflection. A little one. That basically, that goal basically was the deflection. Only Mitrovic was the last one to play to touch it, so give it him, give him the goal. I'm not going to complain because it's four and four now for Mitrovic. To so we're doing WWE next, I think, and then I may finish off with a big old load of GTA, depending on how long I play WWE for. Right, right, over the top. Oh, Mitrovic is there, the but so is the defender. On top of his game. You fucking foot muncher. Cells clearing it away. Obviously, he's got no brain cells to fucking kill his fucking team. Are you what kidding me? Attack? Are you kidding me? Got like, are you having a giggle? It. No. Damn it's come across. That's beautiful. Some good well, tackling from the young left back. Mitrovic. With possession. What will I do on WWE? That's a good fucking... I don't know, actually. Maybe I'll start in my career. Actually, yeah, that's an idea. I'll start in my career. I haven't done that yet. I was going to, then I deleted my character, so I didn't bother. But I'll start in my career. Fuck it. Why not? Head to the band. We still don't know... I don't know to make it look like a proper wrestler, but to make it look like a fucking melon. But, I don't know. Anyway, one all at half time. Mitrovic equalising after Congre. Got a Montpellier goal. Alright, half time, one all. Start my oh, career in Sun and Vision, now. I will do. Yeah, yeah, I will. So your guy has a chance of appearing. Wow, I'm just fucking glorious dealer. Jeffrey just checking everything is in order. And he blows if Andrew, could, if you're in, soldier, if you're in a party with Andrew, could you tell him to stop inviting me? Because I'll join him later. Doing well to keep the ball. Good friend. Mitrovic, try to get Good in. Challenge. Come back to Dummett. Tiote. Oh, just try to bang it with Tiote, but couldn't. Well, this Not is how time. this team can play sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Good friends try to win it off Ninga here, but it's not working. Attacking well here. Oh my god, no, 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 thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Fuck off. Alright, so that was an easy save in the end. Good panic, that was all. Mitro, Mitro, what are you doing, Mitro, mate? Mitro, fucking attack that man. Stab him. Blindfold his kids. Actually, no, it sounds really good. Don't do that. Mitro's the player to watch. I'm going to call him well. Mitro from now on. You're not. I thought you were in a party with him and you were playing survival with him. Damn it. I need to... I need to go to the toilet, but I don't really. 
Actually, when I'm switching over to WWE, the stream will cut out and I'll take a toilet break quickly. So, it'll just stop whenever I quit game, so I apologise. That's not under my fucking control. That's just Twitch. Being Twitch. Being Twitchy about stuff. Get it? Because it's called Twitch? I think on YouTube I'll just put the stream into three parts because it's That's 12 hours and you can get four hours for each part on the editor. So. I really need this goal. Like, it, I need it more than you can ever imagine. Yo, say, why are you fly tackling the didn't. ball? He disconnected. Oh. Didn't you connect back to him? It's Arsenal, we're hearing who have splashed the cash. Arsenal signed fucking Granite Jack, a beautiful well, shitty sound. 45 million pounds and for that kind of money wait Jack was 45 million pounds are you actually meant nah no I'm not accepting that the fucking transfer shit has definitely gone moving forward OP. With some danger to the good option. tackle all right let's bring some other everyone's pretty tired we need to change up the game a little bit we need to inject some life into this game we're gonna switch both the strikers because I feel like we need some new life we're perhaps we're gonna put with cell as well instead of a bummer of course, the first time I pause in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes and it starts lagging. What a, a lovely, game, fucking wonderful world. I just realised the thing is, if I get a theme for my um, my career guy, I'm going to have to actually play it through the fucking phone. Because Twitch automatically censors it when you're streaming from your Xbox now. One. Yeah, it's, no of his performance, it's he, fucking dumb. I wish I had fucking good... There, Fucking recording equipment and live streaming equipment because match. that'd be great, you know. But eventually I'll get it when I get a job. Anyway, over the bar by about 903 fucking kilometers. I don't know if I said kilometers, I don't know if kilometers, but sure. Perez, callback, Murphy's in the middle, but he's 33 years of age. I don't know if he's going to get through. Do you know what I mean? He just slipped on his face, this little fucking Irish cunt. I don't even know if he's Irish, but his name sounds Irish because it's called Daryl. Daryl! Yellowful chef. Alright, uh, Yedlin. 20, 20 minutes remaining. Even if it doesn't fucking go, even if it does go to uh, extra time, I hope it ends in, in extra time because well, fuck here. Golden, not fuck Golden Goal, fuck penalties. Oh no, forward. it's over. Oh, that cross was fucking shit. It's sad being a lonely viewer. We'll share the stream out and get people to join. You have to be a lonely viewer if you don't want to be. Just try and get other people to join. Oh, you fucking mug. Tiote, Tiote, win the back. Okay, now that's just got it. Alright, now Tiote. Run it back with an interception. I'm starting to see why you don't like Tiote. Of all the strengths he has, they're like builder. 10 weaknesses. For everyone's strength, Kyoto has 10 weaknesses. That's it. Until that point, what the fuck is down, that? Now they've got to try and regain possession. You know what I could do, also do? What? While well, I'm playing games? I could share a stream, yeah, no, good idea. Thanks, Just take that's an idea. Yeah, Maybe you could do it since you're not playing anything at the moment. You're a prick. Newcastle I mean, United. what? They'll be facing Fulham away from home. Yeah, it's got a good Atsu is not one. fast enough, he's run up. Can you at least pass it well, even We've if you can't fucking run as fast as you used to be able to at the start of the match? You flipping nonce. No. Oh, for fuck. No, please. No, please. That hit off the fucking water ball. I'm, I skipped the replay, I didn't mean to. Finish the first episode of fucking... Yeah, nah, fuck, fuck universe mode. I'm not doing that shit. Fuck off. So stupid. I deleted what we did, so I'd have to fucking restart it all over again. So I'm not a Rod GM for me, can't. Okay, so. There's no point in doing universe mode, because I'm in the co-op universe mode, it's basically you it's picking your fucking matches here. and me playing them all. It's not really how a co-op universe mode is meant to work. Call back, Call back you Goal fucking twat! The chance was there. I think then Callback gets that, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Alright, please, just fucking win the header. No, you won the header, but you didn't keep the ball. Callback. 
Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Hilton! Are you fucking... Okay, no. I was literally about to rage like crazy because I thought that I'd flown into the bottom right-hand corner. That should not have gone in. If it had gone in, it should not have gone in. Fuck's sake. You said you didn't want to stream Smackdown because of your internet. Well, that pass never looked like reaching its target and they're away with the ball. Anyway, I'm doing my career. I want to give it a go. Good for Anne. Damn it. Perez. Oh my god, it's, oh, it's out of time. It's fucking down to moments. Paul Dummett here. No, it's not because he's a fucking laser prick. Well, the pressure all on the penalty takers now because we're going to decide this game via the penalty shooter. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, no, what? Did he just say, about 30 seconds ago now, that it's all down to the penalty takers? Because if it's all down to the penalty takers, then I'm sorry guys, but we're out of the fucking tournament. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it doesn't really matter who I pick. I'm fucked. I'm fucking fucked. As Michael would say. So here he comes, up to take the first Legit, penalty. I'm just going straight down the middle the whole time. Oh. I can't even take penalties, there's no No, I don't have it. Look, you just see my pen. Fuck, you'll see my first penalty in a few seconds. Sessignon, just fuck off. Sessignon, just fuck off. <gasps> oh my god, please. I don't fucking understand this shitty game. But it's slightly to the right, it's gone wide. Oh, it's going to suck. That's God one. Fuck sake. Nah, I'm out. Nah, I'm out. Die, please. Okay, I'm. T I'm getting a little bit, a little bit lucky here. I cannot take him to shit. Why did you dive late? You fucking prick. Okay, no. I'm doing the exact same. I've done all the, uh, all the penalties. No, nope, 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 nope. I didn't put zero power behind that. Fuck off. Right, well, guys, I'm out of tournament. Fucking lovely. Woo. Yay. What the fucking fallback. You couldn't have done a worse penalty to end it. I need to fucking get used to penalties on this game. Why didn't they just keep the old system? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck off. Shit game. Well, a big result for I just got basically fucked in that game. I got screwed well over. The referee, yeah, I swear it was like three calls, but it should have gone my way. It didn't. They got a lucky no, goal, no, no. albeit I got a lucky goal too, so I can't fucking complain. There should have been extra time. No, I'm not taking this. EA has screwed me over. Fuck it, I don't want to play FIFA anymore anyway. <laughs> I need to go to the toilet, I need to go on WWE, I need to cry into my fucking pillow. What a shitty fucking game. Alright, so here's the goals again. I really don't want to fucking see them because they were just shit. This one was just members complete and utter fucking fault. Yeah, whatever. The second goal was just lucky as well. Good challenge here. It's my goal, but I deserve to be lucky. Because they got a lucky goal. And you know what, guys? You know what? Let's see the fucking deciding penalty. Let's see it. Call back. Fucking. 
He took it so slow that the goalkeeper had time to dive. If I put a bit more power behind that, we could still be deciding the match right now. Fuck off. Alright, so we're out of the tournament. Fucking big whip. I don't even care who the man of the match was. Probably wasn't one of my players because we're all shit. Okay, so... Call not to be Udinese. So both Group B teams actually ended up going through. Can I, get, can I just get a little bit of compensation money? For my efforts. For my fucking efforts. Alright, let's see. We've got... A transfer offer accepted for Unas, which I guess is good news coming out of that game. It's the only fucking good news we've got. The Uriji deal hasn't been confirmed yet. So, why am I giving him a bonus per goal? Uh, he's going to be a uh, sporadic. Not going to lie, he's going to be sporadic. 2.5 million. Okay. It wasn't all in vain. What's my... Too bad you didn't make out the group stage of the- I DID! I made out of the group stage! Fucking lying cunt of a game. No, fuck FIFA. Fuck FIFA 17. Put it in my asshole and smoke it. I made it out of the group stage. You're a lying cunt. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the end of July, because I do- I do like a month. Like, literally a month. I'm fucking... OCD about this shit. So once we get to August 1st, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop. What was the problem with your thing, by the way? Club isn't in the basically he wants my money for playing in a shit your league. How about if I offer you this is dumb. How about if I offer you a hundred K? I give you fucking four years and I give you Joe you know what I've given you everything. I need you, Rigi, like really. If you can be a prick then I'm not I'll just go for Rashford instead, because he'll not be fucking pricky about it. Barcelona signed Javi Martinez. Why would you sign Javi Martinez when there's Boateng? We received the transfer offer for Hadara. Well, I'll let him go for two mil, actually. Two mil seems like a reasonable offer for a pretty young centre-back, who's 71 overall. Player sold. Cool. Oh, you fucking prick. You want a bigger role in my squad. You want important first-team player, even though you're not going to be... You're going to be back up. So, actually, no. Wait a second. He's got the same overall, but he's a year younger. These guys are going to be playing alternate games. <laughs> I can't be bothered with training at the moment. I'm going to... Alright. Oh, we got Origi. We put everything into the fucking bid. <laughs> but Origi is a Newcastle player. Great work. I got an achievement. Public relations. Complete a brand exposure. Just wanted to thank you for helping the club reach one of its brand exposure goals that we set out to accomplish this season. We wanted to have elevate our profile by bringing top talent to the club and we couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the good work. Alright, well, done one of the objectives already. That was, I'm not even fucking three weeks in yet. Uh, Masadio Hadara is coming in. I'm just going to simulate now to the 1st of August. We've received a transfer offer for Alexandra Mitrovic. You are funny. If it's not over 10 million, I'm not interested. It's 8. It's 8 million. No, 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 do you know what? Fuck you. He's not going yet. Maybe if he has a shit start of the season, he can go in January, but he's not going yet. No, 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 no. Mate. Alexander Mitrovic is staying. Player sold. I'm just simulating up to the 1st of August. We can do my transfer shit. Barlazer can go out on loan. That's why I wanted to go up Port Vale, get experience. And then probably sell one. He kind of looks like the burnt chip, but without hair. If you guys know who the burnt chip is, he's a YouTuber. He looks like him, but without hair. I'm just basically trying to get to the 1st of August now. Alright, so... We've got a bit... Have we got a bit of transfer news as well? No, we just got a message. What do we get a message for? We have got a transfer offer. For Rob Elliott, what are they offering? 700 uh, match evaluation, mate. Don't fucking undercut me, you little pricks. You match evaluation or you don't get in. Simple as. Okay, so, um, before we go, we're going to check board expectations. Uh, current position 15th, fuck. I mean, we haven't even started the season yet. 
So at least two players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. Um, sure, I'll, I'll get that done. So I have one youth player to senior team the same season they were scouted. Play them in 10 matches as either part of the starting 11 or coming as Okay. Getting 12.75 million. I'm already halfway there. Living on a prayer. Nobody cares about continental success. I've got to win the league title. I've got to reach around the 16 in the uh, FA Cup. Um, we have got to finish the season with 8.5 unspent allocated funds. Okay. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to end the FIFA part of the 12-hour stream. I'm going to go to the toilet, get a bit of food. I'll be back in a few minutes, and I will be doing some... WWE 2K16 My Career Mode, as well as turning off my notifications so Andrew doesn't keep inviting me to the party. So I'll see you for that in a few minutes. Bye for now.